Back to back. Just boom, boom, boom. For three hours, nigga. Hell yeah, that shit was crazy. He said, "Cause I let me catch it. Let's do it. They got it though. Nigga got it for three. I never roasted that long. You have, but I have. But man, we went, man. There was people. We had this thing had roars, motherfucker. But we just kept going, like, cause we wasn't gonna stop. Like I wasn't gonna stop. He wasn't gonna stop. About three hours for real. Who the greatest at the roasting, man? I've seen him do incredible shit, nigga. Who, who, who? That's, that's a grease move right there. Who I ain't got no uh, tickets to Texas, nigga. I'm not going to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to Texas. You see how your friends grease you? No, we took a road move. <laughs> <laughs> I came down to the show <laughs> and time. <tied. laughs> <laughs> and they was like. That nigga said we took a road move. He said, what he said? He came down to the show and time. That's funny. And they was like, nah. Nah. Even nah, stop we didn't think we were going to be able to find a carry-on big enough to fit show in. <laughs> yeah. so that was a hold-up for a minute. And right. then, oh. Jesus. <laughs> but no, who you think is, in your opinion, the generation before you, greatest roaster? Man, that's a good question, man. I, I got some people in mind. But not, not, not um, like, I would say... Just like the homie, but not blown up, cause I think Robin Harris, but I ain't gonna go there. Yeah. But 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 the, the I gotta give it to the homie, rest in peace, man, cause I'm trying to think, bro. It's a few of them, man. It's a few. Of them. I can name them. Yeah. I can name them. Well, Tommy Chan was it. Like we actually do. <laughs> so I can name them. You know, uh, 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 it's in my head. I know it. I just gotta go get it. 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 Duncan look like a buff Roger from What's Happening. He said a buff Roger. Buff Roger. Nah, nah. Okay, okay, little real, little real. Call us roll somebody if hit you with. Um, I, Tommy Chung's a beast, but but my nigga, um, AJ Johnson, man. AJ Johnson, AJ Johnson was a beast. What did he hit you with? Um, well, AJ Johnson said I had a little shirt on. He said it used to be a long sleeve. So, you know, it was an intricate bag. But the funniest thing, the funniest thing, Tommy Chung. No, no, I'll tell you who hit me, but I'll tell you who dope, man, because I'm trying to think, bro. Y'all breath stank. Come on. <laughs> it's fucking up my mind. But listen, uh, uh, it's fucking up my mind. <laughs> uh, my nigga, uh, what's the name from Rap City? Joe Clear. Joe Clear. Joe Clear's a motherfucker. Joe Clear, D Ray. Oh, okay. yeah. It's a motherfucker. D Ray's a motherfucker. You know your man, Corey. Corey. Yeah. Corey's a beast. But before me, it would be um, AJ. Tommy Chung was a beast. I'm telling you. Um, what's the name from Rap City? I remember that nigga. I'll tell you the situation. And it's a true story. We in front of the improv years ago. It's it's raining. It's Thanksgiving. They having a Thanksgiving uh, thing. Me, Joe Clear. I think I don't even know if D Ray could get in at that time. But um, uh, Joe Clear, Tommy Chung, Joe Clear hit me. Them niggas triple teaming me. Joe Clear hit me with this. He said, "Boo!" I was faded. He said, "Boo!" Uh, he said, yeah, "Boo!" Ate a Patron turkey. Right. <laughs> so everybody laughing. This is about fifty thousand motherfuckers out there. They did dick riding these niggas. And so I'm like, okay, nigga. Then he hit me with a bull was an uh, asshole naked on the two on the four or five on the pogo stick. Right. <laughs> Back then, it's gotta be about 15, 15 years ago. Pogo. So everybody laughed. Oh, so he got me, got me. So all I can come up with just came right in my head. I said, Joe Clear still got issues because his uncle used to jack off and talk to him. Right, right, right. And then everybody just fell out of time. <laughs> he started running Joe Clear. Fell on and what's it's, it's it's on tape. Uh -huh. Joe Clear fell on the ground, bro. On my mama, rest in peace. Chicken mom, that nigga fell on the ground, and just said to this day when he see me, this nigga say, "Boo, you made me want to give up comedy." Mm -hmm. Every time he see me, he just bows down. I be embarrassed, like man, get up, man. <laughs> I mean, like, get up, but he gives me that luck because I told him, and, and that was years ago, and it was triple team. But that's a true story. That sound like. Coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that's what they do. It is cool. It is cool. It's like a whole scene from a movie. <laughs> 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 you gotta make Hell it thick. No, that's true. That's true story. True story. Really? If you ever run into Joe Clay, but if I run into, if he was here right now, he'll say. Wow. Every time I see him, because it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Uh, that's a hell so, of a roast. Yeah, man, it's some yeah. cold roast. But he was cold. Joe Clay is a cold motherfucker on that roast. Yeah. Hell, hey. Yeah. Coldest roaster to you ever. Shit. 
That's a tough one, right? That, that is a tough Mine one. Mine is a white boy, man. Ooh. That gets no respect, I tell you. Oh, oh, Rodney oh, Dangerfield. Oh, wow. That's my favorite guy. Uh, Rodney. Yeah. Bro, Rodney Dangerfield. Is, have you really peed Rodney Dangerfield? Man. I study him. My Ro nigga, Rodney he, is cold. A lot of motherfuckers been stealing from him for years. years. Yeah. He the yeah. first nigga going hard on a bitch. Man. A real the shit. First, oh my God. Rodney Dangerfield, if y'all are not familiar with his work, please be Man. familiar with his work. Caddy Shack. Uh, uh, yeah, oh my god, he film. comes in there just crazy with it. it man. Easy money. Ooh. Easy money. Hell of a movie. You know, yeah. uh, the homie Casino, man, his dad, the coldest Rodney impression I've ever seen him. Really? I swear to God, man. Well, you got um, essays doing an impression of you. Hey. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I tell you, I get no respect, I tell you. <laughs> I, I got man. a Rodney story. I got a Rodney story. Um, yeah. You met Rodney, did you? Yeah, I met Rodney. Yeah. I, I was going to Fairfax High School, for real. I was going to Fairfax. We used to about ditch. 71, 72? About 69. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. This is just that. 71, 72. That's the issue to decide what. But you I was going to Fairfax. I think I was in 11th grade. We used to ditch and go to Beverly Hills High School. Fuck with the Beverly Hills High School bros. And we was in Beverly Hills. It's this pavilion right there on Beverly. And then Rodney Dangerfield, not unbeknownst to me, he lives in that area. So right. he's in there, looked like he had an all-nighter, bro. He put his eyes, you know, because we got, he's, he got a robe on. He has a robe. He's pushing, he's, he's like shopping. It's early in the morning, because we right. ditching early. So I said, man, that's Rodney Dangerfield. I've been a big Rodney Dangerfield fan, you know, for years, right. since I was little. So I, I said, man, I gotta say something to him. I said, hey, Rodney, uh, you know, man, it's, uh, he said, get away from me, kid. Mm. <laughs> That's why I knew it was real. It ain't mm. all about the funny. I thought it was funny all the time. Right, right. I thought it was gonna be Rodney Dangerfield. That he didn't call you a nigger. No, nah, I didn't say nigger. Uh -huh. I was waiting on the nigger. He must not have been feeling like himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that. I'm a kid. I've been I'm fucking. I'm eleventh grade. He said, "Get away from me, kid." Mm. And mm. I was like, "Damn, fuck me up." I said, "Okay, that's when I knew." Motherfuckers can turn that shit off and turn it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you ain't it's trying to be funny on, all the time. That's yeah. co co cocaine. Is, if any nigga that's oh, always on no cocaine. He looked like he had yeah. beans that night. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But most uh, niggas too, though. Who? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't oh, see yeah, yeah. 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 Down, bro. Yeah. In person? Yeah, in person and uh, on t yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I seen him in person a couple times when I uh, we went to the the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. They used mm -hmm. to have that thing. He used to be in the audience. You know what I mean? He rose to the back of the crowd trying to keep him going, man. I've been seeing him. And I went to one of his shows a couple weeks ago. He's still, man. People don't know, but D.L. put you under, man. D. Yeah, yeah, D.L. Yeah, funny, dude. Yeah. One, three, five. I want to smoke, though, D.L. One, three, five. I want to smoke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't offend me with friendly fire, nigga. I want to smoke. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you got credit because, you, nigga, you was a beast, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for real. All bullshit is hot. Yeah, man, appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Show all right too, man. He be, I'm show working. Show he be, working. He be, anytime somebody be like, show the best roaster on the show, he be in them comments. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> <laughs> you. I got you. I'm going to cash at you right now. I appreciate it. Because motherfuckers don't understand about that roast shit. Why you, think, why you think you're a good roaster? Um, you know, it come from a childhood trauma, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Being the tallest nigga in the class and shit like that. You know what I mean? So I could think of a few more traumatic experiences. <laughs> they didn't feed you. Be you being tall, nigga. <laughs> How about that stench but, that came with you? you know? I'd be roasting, too. You can watch this man on Legos, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good interpretation. This nigga be like he eat mafia hits. <laughs> <laughs> He's a clean-up man is here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Open the door to clean up, man. Hey, you look like Max and Cousin, nigga. They call you Mac Eleven. Mac Eleven. Nah, nah, that was that was cuss. Man, I gotta I gotta pay my I gotta pay my respects. Just like your escrow, nigga. This is not an escrow. Yeah. These are dreads, nigga. You got these. You got, these on, tail, you got this type of hair on your ass cheeks. Oh, hairy ass up. You got that chain hairy wish, wish, nigga. You wish you had a real chain. You nigga. look like James Worthy, daughter. Nigga, you, look like, you, look like, nigga, you look like James Earl Jones, nigga. Every time he point, Dookie come out your shoulder. <laughs> You got breasts, nigga. Get this nigga up, bro. <laughs> if, you take that, if you take that jacket off, all your clothes will come off. Hey, show the people your shoes, my nigga. These are Timberlands. 
<laughs> no, a nigga named Timberland sold them to you. Your shoes, your, your, your shoes came with candy. Your shoes came from a toy drive. And your shoes came with Tiger Woods Golf 2013 edition. You got uh, naked pictures of Santa Claus, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Santa Claus sat on your lap. For <laughs> What's your mouth, show? That, that, that watch right there was a uh, part of the party. Not the watch! <laughs> <laughs> and they got them earrings from the Greeks. <laughs> is Bull, is, <laughs> Greek ass earrings. Is Bull a better roaster than you? He's more experienced. You know, this nigga is mid eighties. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're right, though, I feel your yeah. experience have everything to do with no, it. But, he, but I'm just. You're retarded. You're dumb. <laughs> I'm smart, nigga. You, back, no, but well, that nigga was, he was the only nigga, him and the teacher in the class. It was just him and the teacher. In high school. So hey, you never make it. Let me ask you a question, man. How much of it is, like, how can, can you tell the difference between somebody who's just straight out funny? Like, I'm going to pay my respects. This nigga right here and this nigga right here been funny their whole life. I've yeah. seen these niggas catch bodies in the street. You know what I'm saying? Can you tell the difference between niggas that just regularly funny and niggas that just real experienced with the shit? You know what I'm saying? Well, it takes it. Well, it takes experience. You got to be like like doing stand up, yeah. for real. You, yeah, but this nigga naturally ugly. Yeah. But yeah, but not but but, but then no no. You look like Wanda Sykes. Nigga. <laughs> I've said that before. <laughs> I told you. I think we gonna need some more napkins. Look like nigga that D, uh, kidnapped Dion. What's happening? I think we gonna need some napkins. You said keep it in. Your hands look like monkey feet. Shut yeah. your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> But no, he, what you're saying is, man, I think a lot of people like Craig, naturally funny, naturally funny. This dude, naturally funny. I'm, all y'all naturally funny to me. Because when I watch the show, y'all all, you know what I'm saying? But, like, um, if you be around motherfuckers that, that, that are naturally funny, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rub off. But roasting, we call it bagging in L.A. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. bagging, yeah. bag, because we're going to put you in a, a yeah. body, body bag. Yeah. We're trying to kill you. So, Craig, no, everybody from in the hood, you had to jump off that porch. You had to know how to bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just hood shit. Right. You got to know how to bag, because niggas going to get at you. Not because we hate you, it's because we love you. Because right. if I don't bag, or if I don't say nothing to you, I don't fuck with you. Right. So, if I bag on you, it got to be some camaraderie. You right. know what I'm talking about? So tell them about them uh, frog loogie smoothies you can that nigga got a three-car molly outfit, nigga. That nigga look like he about to make a choose a ball. <laughs> I love uh, his confidence, man, with the I fucked mean, up teeth and his laugh. He like a mini bull. He's a volume shooter. Yeah. He'll that volume. nigga feel like his confidence. He, he smiled with some fucked up teeth. Yeah. That nigga look like he been smoking nigga, dynamite. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? You thought the Brian Pumper He look like he just took some Duke and bit it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Mother that Teresa T. Fans. That thing was gonna build his wardrobe up. Your beard hair is inside your mouth. <laughs> 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 It grows from within to out. Stupid. It grows from within to out. Your face made a dick skin. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your whole mouth made a dick skin. Every time you see a dick, you just fall out. <laughs> they said she was asshole naked in the bathroom in the mirror talking about candy man, candy man. Come hook me. I said it. Yeah, you said that. Okay. Every time you hold cucumbers, your eyes water. <laughs> hey. They said. <laughs> you got goldfish lips. <laughs> you join the gang to get fucked. They said you twerk to get on your hood. They said they put a thumb in your ass to get on your hood. <laughs> they said you want that Crip Strip Twister to get on your hood. They said you the only nigga can shit and piss out your ass. Crip Strip Twister. Oh, that's funny. I can't Say that again. Hey, I'm blue. Hey, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Hey, your gums look like vomit. <laughs> Somebody vomit in your mouth. <laughs> they throw up in your mouth. At her function, you used to give your big homies lap dances. Hey, y'all used to gang bang around a fire. Y'all would uh, crib walk, blood walk around a fire. You join the Cub Scouts for the niggas. <laughs> at, at, your hood, at your hood parties, you limbo naked. They said that you was up on the car. You was a butt naked mechanic. They called you screw 
screwdriver. They said you was a gay mate. They called you the butler from the hood. <laughs> they said you playing in a new movie. It's about two gay uh, plumbers. They call it a broke back pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Homosexual plumbers. Y'all showing y'all crack. <laughs> Why your lips the same color as your gums? You're stupid. <laughs> Tampon mouth. You can you can drink a uh, hey, nigga stupid. You can drink a Jack in the Box shake with no problem. They said you got raped by the Guardian Angels. <laughs> <laughs> you said the, your Jordans do finger rolls. You look like an extra in Warriors. Look, you look like one of the Gramercy riffs. Bring me the Warriors. <laughs> you Warriors are good. Your old ass play the Waste them. <laughs> they say at the beach you lay on your stomach and wait for seals to come. <laughs> What's on his mind right now, bro? I did. How uh, he going to pay his rent and what nigga he going to fuck? What's on his mind? Uh, the last nigga that gave him back massage. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, so good. I like some retarded ass. I think they like the Goonies mascot. Yeah, you, look like, you look like Holly Berry's son in Monsters Ball. You look like <laughs> you look like a, a fat black Fonzie. You, you, like you look like you survived an electric chair. You look like you you survived, nigga, uh, vomit. Hold on, but that, give me give him a reason why uh, a woman would break up with him. Um, when, if he, if, when he get naked. <laughs> 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 oh, it's over. It's over. It's give, over. Give me a reason why a woman would break up with him. The sweat say ju juicy across the ass. <laughs> <laughs> woman get up with you. Hey, if he ain't got no money at the cash register, what excuse he gonna get? Uh, he said he gonna watch the cash register. <laughs> it ain't, he gonna watch it. It ain't no dishes. That nigga ran out on some toothpicks. If he borrowed some money and can't pay you back, what excuse he gonna get? He spent on his last eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you chimpanzee. <laughs> what, that nigga killed that. Push Michael down the stairs. That was Bubbles. Bubbles old to the motherfucker there. Shut your bleep from Wonder Twins looking at you. <laughs> what you got for us, Ty? Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, in sports today, man, did you guys see that quarterback that faked the slide? When he was, when he was right? That was, that was, was, was nasty. That was nasty. That was nasty. So for y'all that don't know, when the quarterback slides, you're not supposed to hit him. So he faked like he was getting ready to slide, and everybody stopped, and then he <laughs> zoomed into the end zone. But do you think that that's going to make it, you know, so that people ain't going to be pulling up as much when the, a quarterback try to slide? I got to see the play. I haven't seen the play. It was, it was like, if you don't, you're getting a flag anyway. So. You got the play on your phone? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. Remember they could tear the quarterback up. Pizza ain't. Yeah, much respect, Pizza ain't. Man, appreciate you. Make sure you come to the show on Austin, Pizza Pizza ain't. We we really appreciate you here. Somebody say, damn, $200. He had $200, motherfucker. There you go, Craig. Who's the Quan? Let me show This is in college. $200. Hell yeah, that's love. Oh, that was dope as a motherfucker. Right? Yeah, he got out of there too. Oh, what wow. do you do? The quarterback yeah. sneak? Yeah, he, he did. It. He, he faked the slide. slide. Oh, he yeah. like, I thought put it on the camera. I don't think they should allow quarterbacks to slide. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, what's the? You got to make a football play. Run the. Oh, oh yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was oh, dope. Yeah, that was crazy, man. We used to play football. We paying to see y'all hit each other. You know what I'm saying? Make a football play. That's like, what if you went to a basketball game and Shaq didn't dunk one time the whole game? It was all finger rolls. You feel like you got ripped off. <laughs> it was all <laughs> finger rolls. Really? If you went for 60, fuck it. Shaq has to dunk, my nigga. Right. Shaq has to go for 60. Like, I just, I want to see buckets. I want to see buckets. Dunk, dunk here and there, cool. But it ain't every play. Jump hooks like, they used to do. If he got, if, right. if he in the game, if he in the game with, 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 with 10 points and he, it was all dunks, that's not, fuck that. But he had 60, it was all layups. It's entertainment, though. It's the dunks, it, it, Shaq's dunks. I, I, I understand he that. Got but a dookie dunk, you got a dookie dunk. Killing a nigga though, like Shaq used to kill niggas. Shaq do He used to he work on down there. So that was to me. I like. I love seeing that. You ain't got to dunk the ball. Just yeah. destroy that nigga who's trying to stop you from scoring. Yeah. Show him he can't stop you. But here's the thing: Keep doing that on being a fan is coaches. like being in a relationship, right? How you establish the relationship with your woman is a part of the element that helps you maintain it. If you meet a woman and you claiming to be this bossy ass baller motherfucker and you pay your way into the pussy, that's how you're gonna keep her. <laughs> right. I that's fell in good. love with Shaq being a motherfucking monster. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. no yes, finger sir. roll, finger yes, roll, yeah. jump hook nigga. Oh, so if I come to a game yeah. and Shaq ain't dunking, I'm disappointed as a fan. Even if, Even if you yeah. go for 60. I'd rather uh, uh, 
40 points with 20 dunks and 60 <laughs> what with 30 doing? finger rolls. <laughs> yeah. 15 what footers. They don't got to see that. You got to, you got to maintain me the way you met me. Right. Yeah. Right. Football, they got pads on. You know what I'm saying? There's big niggas out there lifting weights bigger and faster than they've ever been since we've been alive. These niggas is bigger and faster than they've ever been. Yeah, Why are quarterbacks still sliding? Why don't they invent another type of protect, protective garment that can prevent injury? I suggest styrofoam. Styrofoam what? Pads right. and helmets. They going right through that. I'm just saying, <laughs> a little, <laughs> something a little bit stronger. stronger. <laughs> a little bit stronger, but your quarterbacks got slack because if they get their ass toe up, that's it. You need your quarterback. I would have protect the quarterback at all times. I would have like yeah, I would have hit him anyway. That flag is better than that touchdown. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, I already yeah, fucked you up. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Know. Yeah, and, and but then he didn't know he was gonna get up. It's like ain't nothing you can't right, do. Right, 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 right. You just slid down there and still not play. Right. Either way, he was gonna score. If he slid or not, like you, when you went for the pump fake, whether you go down or you back up, whatever he did, Buddy was gonna score. Yeah, so I don't mean. I like the play. Was, that was sick. I watched that shit. Back that, that's time. what I would take out of football. What would you take out of football or basketball? Where you like the game don't need this shit no more, man. Bullshit ass. Uh, we talking about football? It, football, basketball. Uh, I'm gonna say the referees. They got way too way much, much power. Both sports. Way too much. Cause like that shit. That shit. That shit. Like dictates games way more than niggas think it does. Right here. Yeah, I'm saying. Like they can call some shit. Like I was watching the Niners. We lost. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? We lost. But I was watching the game and it was two. But yeah. <laughs> damn, high stakes. <laughs> That's a matter. That's automatically on my I got less ass than I had before the game. I lost but. <laughs> I didn't say Frisco. I lose butt. A little bit of cheek. A little bit of cheek. I got less ass. I didn't know we was going to go into the butt. Take this measuring tape. Is my ass still 52 inches wide? You lose your cheeks? I got 51 inches of ass. I lost butt. This nigga stupid. I got a little bit of ass. We playing for cheeks. That nigga kept going. We playing for cheeks. Come in the room. You lost. Come on. Come on in here. 52 inches? God damn. 52 inches? Like even with last. flopping and you know what I'm saying, certain like like calls that's like bam bam, you know what I'm saying, you can't review it. That shit is just up to the ref, you know what I'm saying? And these niggas don't like certain players, let's keep it real, you know what I'm saying? They betting on the motherfucking games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we already shown that. I know they got some some kind of stake in this shit. I remember uh I don't know, I was like, man, hey, look, man, they doing this. This nigga had, uh, I think he had, they had busted his mouth or something. He's like, look, like, shut up, Iverson. They go out there. You, you entertain the fans, and I call the calls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nigga, his mouth is busted, man. Yeah. <laughs> that one brother said something. Nah, I was like, hey, look at this dude, Hey, that's how they used to talk when he was a kid. <laughs> Say. <laughs> That's how they used to talk when you was a kid. Say. Man, I tell you what, if you take that rag off your head, your face coming with you. <laughs> Sammy uh, thing coming off. This, this, nigga, go, yeah, this nigga up in here looking like Sammy Davis Sr. Senior, senior. Yeah. Hey, you look like a, um, you paint all the Pope's Easter eggs. <laughs> stupid. <man. laughs> hey, Easter eggs. When did you get them start? You know where you Where you get them starter dreads? <laughs> starter dreads. <laughs> they need to take away fouling out in basketball. There's no reason for the foul out. That's right. Nah, Keep that dude nah, in there. Nah, he got 12 nah, fouls. Nah, he up in that motherfucker. He a motherfucker. He got to have fouls. Nah. Nah. You can't street. foul out in football. These yeah, you can. And these niggas is just trying to kill dumb, each other. You can do some dumb shit and, and, and get ejected. But, but you can foul out. But, foul, you could, but what I'm saying is a foul, you can. Uh, yeah, like pass. You can pass friends all game if you want to. Yeah. Who yeah, the fuck true. is that? Who parole officer? That's my mom. You just forgot to wash the dishes. Shout out David. You who? You who? Right, right. You know uh, what it felt like. For they start player to get that second, that yeah, second yeah, foul yeah, yeah, yeah. in the first fucking quarter. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. your motherfucking ass down, nigga! Yeah, like yeah. we about to kill these niggas. Like, like come yeah. on, I, you can't take that out. I, I used to love that. Like, so you don't think fouling out is over with? Fisher, nigga. I love that one. The final, really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then talking shit while the nigga, you know, they, 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 they playing a the song, you know, whatever right, song right, he had. Right. Like, that shit used to get the crowd hype. I'm going to take hugging out of boxing. 
Yes, do, yes, for sure. It's not yeah. needed no more, nigga. Yeah. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I hate to hurt you. If a nigga wobbled you, if a nigga got wobbled, you can hug you. got to get knocked out. What is it saying? Okay, so, what is, so here's the thing, because hugging, it depends on the perception of, of the person and your boxing uh, philosophy. So is, for you, is hugging more of a defensive or offensive thing? Uh, it's both. It's, really, it's more defensive because that's, if you watch the Tank fight, you'll see Tank getting in there and, you know what I'm saying, he, he dealing with a power puncher, that's where his power is. You know what I'm saying? Right in the right in the right in the pocket. So if you get off on a nigga and you can't like get out, you can't get up to see like step around him or step out, step out of range, you gotta grab him or get or take whatever he finna throw. And niggas be you know what I'm saying? These niggas is professional. So right, right. you can use it for defensive, you know what I'm saying? But it, it usually starts with offense. You know what I'm saying? You 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 get in there and you ain't got no way out. Like, okay, well I gotta hold this nigga on. <laughs> Like, Lennox Lewis did that to Mike Tyson. Right. You know what I'm saying? The first five rounds, had to grab that nigga. Eight time he Punch threw him it. Hold, it. hold that nigga. Yeah. You better hold him. Sometimes that shit makes a born fight, but <laughs> Muhammad Ali did that with uh, your boy. When, uh, Robert Robert Dome. Dome. Well, he did, well, he he did, did the rubber though, yeah. but he hugged me and he was grabbing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about what that nigga do, he hugged before the fight. That nigga show said, beat me up. I'm going to let you beat me up. Yeah. 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 And after the fight, he hugs and followed the nigga. Listen! <laughs> No biscuit, no! You gotta sing a song when I saw you if you say that right. Pick a fresh You look like you got a dookie flavored tongue. Your teeth is funny. I'm always looking at a nigga mouth. No, when you smile. No, when you smile. You smile and start stinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got a fort smile. Every time they smile, your throat hurts. I know. You look like a special effect. You look like all you eat is grits. And they should take the weight limit out of fight. And they had a chip and turkey. Your skin look like it's made out of yeast. How do you feel like you're getting nothing for Christmas? No one's giving you anything. You look like the Grinch who stole heroin. <laughs> I was gonna start calling you Gums. Gums. Yeah. You look like that little motherfucker from uh, what came out of his stomach. Oh, what is his name? You look like a strong old Lego man. Uh, not Otto, but. Uh, right, we bombing right now. We bombing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're gonna move on to the next. Uh, <laughs> Ty, what's your other topic? Oh, man, the Lions got their first win uh, this weekend, man. The Lions got their first win at the last minute. I mean, last second. It was the last play of the game in the football game. So, you know what I'm saying? Jared Goff marched down there. Threw it in at the end. Shit was crazy. They party like they won the fucking Super Bowl. That is yeah. the closest they ever gonna get, man. Shout out to y'all, but y'all not winning. Most loyal fans. Yeah. I done been in Detroit. Them niggas ain't never had no hope. Never. <laughs> but week they one. Fuck with them lions, man. Hell yeah. Week one they all in, but week two they be like, man, fuck this shit. Man. What makes your organization terrible for years is it the players is it the organization the management how can a team be trash for decades that's crazy the coach <laughs> sometimes in the organization the 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 that's the culture of the team real spit though yeah, it's, it's the GM like the Clippers kind of it's the team. oh who is they team it's decades it's not going to be the same right you know so there's going to be some changes in there so and they were still trash so that's the culture of the team but here's how here's how heavy losing is on the psyche of those observing your losses is the Clippers have been for the last decade they've been good yeah. right. we, we, this is residual early 90s and 80s <laughs> right right well, we like the Clippers is garbage but they ain't been garbage in yeah. Uh, yeah. over a decade right. my nigga right. Right. Cool they, had, they had the squad Right. Them niggas had squad didn't do a, didn't do a motherfucker well, when the Clippers was, no but on paper on paper if they had uh, uh, they had a squad. Wait, squad they had about? everybody. What, what, what are you talking about? You're talking I'm talking about, about when they had Live everybody. City. Who's everybody? Live City. Man. Fucking Live. Oh, I thought you were talking about Bo, Bo Kimball and them. Yeah. Yeah. Bo Kimball and them. Well, they had Bo <laughs> Outlaw, Tony <laughs> Massenburg, no, Paul about Richardson. About what, uh, them that? niggas was guys. They were starting to see. I'm talking about Bo I would, I would say when it was good, when they had Lamar Odom, Old Kendrick on them, like when they had Crawford. From then on, yeah, they was good. When they had Crawford and they had CB3, they had everybody one year. Yes. Man, they paperwork. Listen, man, they tried to make me play for them. That's why I said they've been good for a decade. They were so weak, man. Throw 
tickets to the sports meeting for six dollars. Yeah. They gave them away. If you took the vaccination, you get a ticket. You clip a ticket. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> but the Clippers is garbage. You sit next to the bench, you might get in. What's but up? they got, like you said, they got bit. But I'm like, but Duncan said, man, the GM. Who was the GM for the Clippers back with uh, Danny? What was his name? It Danny was Green. it was the living. Well, he's dead now. It was Elgin Baylor. Elgin Baylor. He was he was a hell of a player. But, but who was on? No, you see, when an organization is is uh, dookie for a long period of time, it's the owner. Yeah. And yeah. the owner, the Clippers owner, was you know who. The nigga that the, the Sterling was trash yeah. owner. Well, they all racist, but what I'm saying is, it got to be the GM because the owner is not there with the players. The, the GM, races? no, the GM, the GM tells the <laughs> owner what to do. Exactly. So this GM kept telling the owner not to make good. I mean, no, the owner kept telling the GM not to make good decisions so they can stay sorry. Hold on, Uptown Saturday Night. <laughs> 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 The, the owner has everything to do with, with, with um, you know, uh, sponsors and all that shit. But I feel what you're saying. The owner could be, I feel that. But it would, it would seem to me that the GM, look at Michael Jordan was a hell of a motherfucker. Terrible GM. Magic was a hell of a terrible coach. The best players make the worst wait, wait, coaches. Which in one was it? You said hell of a terrible. No, I said yeah, hell of a terrible. I'm talking about nigga. I'm talking about nigga. I'm talking about nigga. I'm talking about nigga. You Filipino, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Pacquiao owe you money right now. Where the fuck is my money, Manny? Where the fuck is my money? Where the fuck is my money? Where the fuck is my money? Y'all been up for a lot of Salvaduce right here. Listen, what I'm saying is this, man. You have to overstand something. Magic might have been a hell of a motherfucking player, but he was a terrible coach. Right. Jordan's a he's a hell of a player. So the best players make the, 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 the like you take Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr was a regular player. He was a hell of a motherfucker, but he was on the bench. No, See, when the players on the bench, they um, next to the coach. Larry That's why he's a good coach. Larry Bird was good. Larry Bird was a good coach. Hey, Larry Bird, listen to me, man. Yeah, he That's he the wizard. Lenny Wilkins is the best white boy ever. That's his he's name, Wilkins. 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 He's the best white boy ever. Lenny Wilkins is an all was an all star as a player. Most winningest coach ever. Doc Rivers. What are you talking about? What? 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 Terrible coach. Doc Ooh. Rivers. Doc Rivers sucks, man. Huh? Doc Rivers, Doc Rivers will get you there, but he can't take you to the promise land. He already got. He already did it. What you, everybody, they forget. Everybody, forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody forgets. Everybody forgets. Everybody forgets. He got yeah. a chip already. Yeah, we forgot. That. I forgot that. Not every coach got a chip. He should have never put his son in the game. Who cares, Listen, man? That's a terrible coach. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if my son can't play, my son gonna sit on the bench. My son, my son, my son, my son get a job. My son get a job. Yeah, my son not playing. Tell that lie, man. My son gonna play. He ain't running the office to my son. This coach Carter, goddamn it. That's not culture. That's not culture. Doc Rivers is a piece of shit. Generation. He can't coach, bro. He can't Mark coach. Jackson, I'm, I'm right? saying that, nigga. Mark I'm saying Jackson's that. Jackson's a good coach. He had the Clippers and all that, man. He, he Mark blew Jackson it. was a great coach. He car. blew it. Mark Jackson. No, Mark, Mark Jackson the shit. Paul Mark Sizes. Jackson should have got that, that job. Sizes. Mark Jackson should have got that job. Byron Scott. Phil Mark Jackson. Scott. Sucks. Byron Scott. Scott. No, no, Scott. No, Byron Scott was, no, was, he was fired. He, yes, he was fired. He's a basketball player. Let's talk about He don't want to retire. Have you ever played basketball? All my life. Where? Where? What do you mean where? who? What you play? What team? Every team. I'm Nigeria. an All American, nigga. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's all I'm saying, though. That's all I'm saying, though. That's all I'm saying, though. All American, nigga. All American. I work at. We know you. No, it was at junior high, right? That's what he said. In America, it's called basketball, not football. No, what grade was it? I played football. What grade was it? What grade was you when you got basketball? What grade was you when you got All American? We ain't talking about butt naked softball. I'm asking you the right question. What grade were you when you got All American? I was in it from the eighth grade to the eighth grade. All American. Shut up. I'm not talking to you no more. I was in Pop Warner. Hey, is anybody in the line? Shut up. up. You can be all American and great. They don't know. That's how you know. know. Craig, they don't know. I see this nigga tape. This nigga was a beast. I've never seen you. I seen you chase him. You can go outside right now. I'm always in the best one. Let me go outside. Let me get your fucking pussy. What game they used to play? Chase the monkey? I know what you're talking about. I used to chase the monkey. No, no, OJ Mayo was all American in high school. It's high school. Eighth grade. Oh, okay. Some places eighth grade is high school. Boo, yeah, boo was called a freeze tag, so that's how he got that yeah. scholarship. I come from Mustafa looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the Wu, the Wu granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> Green Daddy Wolf. Freestyle. Freestyle. If that nigga take that rag off his head, it'd be a tampon wrapped around. They need to take away the technical foul. 
It's pointless. It is pointless. Yeah, some, some shit needs to be. But what does it do? That's just like, yo. Thing. I used to like getting them, them yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, you know, get somebody out there. <laughs> They square to do some stupid shit now. Right. Now that's two points. Well, right. in high school, at least two points plus the ball, like right. shit like that. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like taking away the technical. Now, the way the refs are now, they they fucking punts. These niggas, they call them text for whatever. Right. So I, I mean, that should take away back court, nigga. That's nah, stupid. I like back court. Tech, <laughs> tech back should court be uh, stupid, uh nah, tech I, should be reviewable. Like if you throwing somebody out, they they should be able to review that. To be like, nah, we ain't throwing yeah, him out. Yeah, because you can't. You you I can't leave it up to you, for you to let your perception guide whether I meant to hurt a motherfucker or not. Mm-hmm. If I'm making a basketball play and a nigga get hurt, a nigga just get hurt. Mm-hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean the flavor? Fight? Flagrant, technical, flagrant. all that shit yeah. need to go. Just need to be foul because it's not gonna make me do nothing different. When a nigga is fouling you hard, it's a statement play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, so, the tech, but the tech is there to, to restrain niggas. Like, yeah. if they ain't got that tech, niggas ain't niggas, gonna niggas feel like they're in their work all day. Think about it. If I'm just out there belligerent, fucking with my fucking, and I and I get a tech, nigga, that's two points, and the game might be one. Your coach, you fucking up. Like, like so. But if you got zero fouls and you get a hard technical, what does that do? It's nothing. If I have zero fouls in the game again. and I get a hard technical, I just can't do it again. But I'm still in the game. Yeah, you got you no, got you one foul. Don't you got to come out? No, no, no. 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 High school got to break my horn, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. That's no. what niggas are do. Niggas would be like the nigga from Butter Rim. Remember the nigga from Butter Rim? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Elbowing niggas in the mouth. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what niggas are But no, but that's what niggas are doing. Remember when Danny wow. Rivers did the white dude, Danny Fair? Is that his name? Danny Fair, yeah, Danny Fair. Guy. Remember Danny Fair? They, they, if you remember when uh, I think he was playing Cleveland against the Bulls, against the Bulls, they deliberately put him in there to fire on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was just doing. Remember when he came in there and just out of nowhere just fired on Michael Jordan. Bam! Boom! Oh, Michael Jordan said ah, and grabbed that. I mean, but Michael Jordan. They wanted Michael Jordan to get kicked out of the game. Michael Jordan had Danny Ferry like this and had it about to knock What's the through. point, boo? Michael, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Can you interpret what this motherfucker trying to say? Danny Ferry said, Mama, this nigga's round. And I was like, I'm going to fuck this nigga up to my mind. No, no. The point is this. The point is this. The point is this. Here's a girl with flashbacks. No, no. Here's the point. Here's the point, though. So... When you know it, it's stipulations, I got it's going down. Point. You know what I'm saying? It, it, <laughs> I got I got one too. I want to get some time. Let's see. Oh, this nigga. Y'all get up for Huggy Bear behind me. Are you betting again, though? You still betting push-ups? But I'm saying it's big. When you know it's it's stipulations. And you can't capitulate what you want to do, and it's going to be some uh, things that's going to happen. Who was that? Huh? Who was that? You know that. You know that. You know that. You know that. I ain't got my book. Every time you read in front of white people, you cry. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I ain't got my book. I ain't got my book. But what I'm saying is, got to be some penalties. It's just be belligerent shit. Mm-hmm. It's a sport. Free right. throws are, are, should be taken out the game. Yeah, why? What are you doing? I'm <laughs> saying, <laughs> a lot of, like that a lot of things need to be revamped. We just used to the way we've been doing it. But I feel like a lot of things need to be revamped. I think free throws only on shoot foul. It's only on shoot foul. There shouldn't there should be no bonus. You know, the one, don't, take that, don't take that away from you. Well, I'm not saying take out. away shooting free throws. I'm saying the free throw line should be taken away. You should have to do everything from the three-point line. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not. I'm not against that. Are you yeah, you should shoot free from time to time. Everybody's yeah. everybody's free throws. Yeah. I'm not against that. I mean, why else should you do that shit? Free throws from the three. Yeah. 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 Free throws from time to time. He was yeah. right there by the three. I think yeah. they yeah. should take away point after field goals in, in football. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Like right. Seven, seven points. Nah, you know what I mean? Or go for the or go for the thirty five. I'm saying no, I mean you, I'm saying you can kick oh, I'm talking the about the extra point. Just the extra, just the extra point. No, no, you not the, you, you know what I mean? No, no. I niggas miss extra points. Yeah, I know that. I am saying. Niggas be need that please. They need to add they need to add negative points into sports. Meaning like points could be taken away. You feel what I'm saying? So maybe you know, if you if you hit a three and you know, then you I don't know I don't know how the how the scenario would work, but I feel like maybe if a block somebody gets a block that's negative two. You know what I'm saying? I feel just add some spice to the game, like everybody be blocking. Really show it, you know what I mean? Because that's a that's a, a unheralded part of basketball that niggas don't get credit for. If you if you average five blocks a game, you could be MVP of the NBA. You're doing something. Yeah, so you know what I mean? It's niggas, you know. 
three, two, three blocks is like averaging a dub. I like that taking After away three points. Blocks, we do. We start taking away points. I like that. I like that. After that, nigga, you know what I mean? Did a nigga block you on the fourth time? Nigga, that's negative one. I like it. Hey, that's he killing your shit. He he gets gets stats. The point to all of this is this. He stats. I like that. The point to all. Go ahead. Go ahead. You think you, how y'all feel about the play in? I like that. I like the plan. You hit that point four, my nigga. Three seconds. I like that. Fuck three seconds. I don't like that. Yeah, nah, you gotta have three seconds. He's not playing basketball. He's not playing no sport. Especially when he's not playing basketball. 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 He's not playing <laughs> oh, yeah, there exactly. we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Because look, in life, there's a lot of shit that we all been doing that's been working for a long time. Yeah. But then it's, there comes that day or that period in your life where it ain't really kind of working how it used to work. Mm -hmm. And some motherfuckers can't handle that. They don't know right. how to revamp. They don't know how to go to the starting board and figure some new shit out. And I think it's because of the games we play. Once these rules and these games we play get locked in, I feel like, what does it do? I feel like it crystallizes that pineal gland that they always talk about in the conscious community, and it takes away niggas' ability to see shit in 3D. A nigga would rather kill you over some shit that used to work and doesn't work yeah. than try to figure out some new shit to do to make that work. Right. A yeah. nigga say, fuck it, I'm about to start robbing. Facts. My shit ain't working, I'm finna go take it from Blade. Facts. Because all this other shit, because the dope game ain't working no more. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How you know when it's time to change and revamp, boom, and do something new? <laughs> what, what, what you say? That nigga laugh like that. That nigga doing the same shit, been doing the same shit since 87, nigga. Since the 40s, nigga. That nigga more Can I get my point across, nigga? Yeah, let him play. Let me land. Knock the watch. Shit, you. No, it's called insanity, bro. Blaze is looking like this is the dumbest conversation. I've ever been a part of You don't want that. These motherfuckers are beneath you. don't want that. Black, you know. but, but no, what I'm saying is, what, what I'm saying is, insanity is doing the same thing and, and, and making. <laughs> he said no. He don't know why we be yeah, talking. I know, about I know them glasses, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I watch the show. I watch it. I watch it. So I watch it. <laughs> but no, no, real question. We get real question, bro. Listen, insanity is doing the same thing, looking for a different result. Like you said, if change, if nothing changes, nothing changes. You, 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 you feel me? Like you were saying, a motherfucker, brother. I can't. do Okay, so I'm gonna go rob you and rob you. So the thing about that, when I know shit ain't working, is when I'm getting the same negative results off of the same bullshit that I'm doing. Now, if I change. And the results are going to change. So that's when I know it's working. When positive stuff come into positive energy, like you said, that the torture gland. The torture glands, that's your third eye. The torture gland? Pineal. Pineal. We call it, <laughs> we call it your pituitary because this is your son and bottom. This is your pituitary. Then you have your cerebellum. No, no, that's your cerebellum. Goes your son and bottom. Son and bottom. It's called son and bottom. He says some real shit. It's called. That's funny. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm like. Son and bottom. Son and bottom. But no, that's real. I love what you were saying, bro. Because that's all facts, man. For real, facts, man. Because if we doing the same thing, I think looking for a different result, man. I was talking to my cousin. One of my cousins I love. You know what I'm saying? I always talk about her on the show. We be bumping heads. She a stud. So, you know what I'm saying? But she's a leader stud, you, though. Yeah. Like, we got one right here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> leader stud. She a leader stud. stud. <laughs> Meaning like she not like leader. she not a stud to hang with other studs. Mm. She hang with nothing but niggas. And the niggas be following behind her. Uh. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. She a leader. She my nigga. I love her to death. I kill for her. But I'm not one of them niggas that's following behind no bra. I just want to be my cousin. And I love you. And I, But I'm not following. You know, we could be equals and shit. But anyway, we were talking about our upbringing. Because she was a hell of a ball player. And I was a hell of a ball player. But our parents didn't really do the extra shit 
when it came to sports to get us to that next level. Now here she is, has a nephew, which is her brother's son. This nigga is a monster. And they doing everything for him that we didn't do or that wasn't done for us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they did, nigga, they train, this nigga got trainers and he just doing all the shit that we wish we would have had to get to the league. Man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of them for that. I'm proud of my cousin that she watching because y'all doing it different than what was done for us. A lot of motherfuckers be having resentment and pent up frustrations for their parents and they know they should be doing different than they uh, than their parents did for their kids, but they not out of spite. They're like, if it wasn't done for me, it ain't gonna be done for you. Right. Like some fair. motherfuckers is only willing to go Damn, as far as 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 somebody went for them. And that's yes. some cowardly shit. Yes, right. sir. That's some cowardly shit. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And if you a parent out there doing that. You should kill yourself. <laughs> Please. I know my parents was doing it, but they wasn't doing it on purpose. My pops' pops wasn't there. Yeah. I think my dad might have met his pop. He lived with him for one summer. He was born. Then in summer seventh grade, he went to live with him, and then they sent, he sent all his kids back, and they they might have seen him once or twice after that. So for my pops, the pinnacle was being there. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm here, and I and I appreciate it. I love you for it, Smitty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if pops had been programmed a different way. It, could, it may maybe life will be easier for everybody, Man. but you can't blame your parent for that. But what I'm saying is, if you're a parent watching, you gotta go further for your kids than than where people went for you. Man, that's real. That's a fact. It, it, it ain't even you so much the about further. Came before you. This so if your if your if your elders come to the if mic your and elders you talking, man. if your yeah. elders uh, reached a certain level, then you need to stand, you need to at least exceed where they their their baseline and build. From there. Look, man, yeah, you are failing nice. your kids. Look, if if you're failing your kids if they starting in life from where you started from. That's, that's, real. that's real. You that's are fact. failing your motherfucking kids and stop taking all the frustrations you have from doing that out on them. Because you're sending yeah. non productive bitch niggas and out of pocket people, women into this in, into this motherfucking society. So, Real quick, let me land because that's crazy. You said that quick because I seen a tape, man. Somebody I don't know, I think it was on YouTube. Or somebody sent it to me, and and y'all could yeah, it was, it was not a tape, but it was a thing with Craig. Like years, Craig say, "Boo, I got the game, boo." We ain't never, but then when I man, I seen that nigga and hype, man. This nigga was. I'm talking about he made it look easy. No, no. <laughs> oh, let, me, let me land. For real, bro. I'm not a buddy hustler. For the airport. I'm not a buddy hustler. Not the watch. You bitch you. But I seen it because Craig, I used to be like, you bullshit. Man, I seen, when I seen nigga was the Kobe of the tank, that nigga was just throwing down, hitting jumpers. I said, Craig wasn't bullshitting. Craig what? He could have got to the lead. So what he's saying is real. Little stuff like that, minute stuff, can get you to the lead. Genius niggas, I'm not going to say geniuses, but I'm saying niggas who are smart and, and gifted. I feel like I'm in a room full of those niggas, right? Niggas who are smart and gifted, we see little things. And we don't even know we compartmentalize and shit. I don't even have to know a nigga. I can hear one thing and have an idea of what type of nigga this nigga is. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, but the general world don't see shit that way, it, it, you know what I'm saying? So when you're like that, you know what I'm saying? You gotta expect for motherfuckers not to appreciate the shit you contribute, because sometimes it takes years for niggas to catch up and be where you be what you own. Right. And don't expect the motherfucker to come back or be on what you own. Excuse me. Yeah. And don't expect the motherfucker to come back after your whatever it is you're trying to prove is proven right and tell you, hey man, you was right, because yeah. you ain't never gonna get that. Ever. I hate that. And you ain't never gonna get that. I promise you. It's a few I'm waiting on now because I went back and gave some some niggas they just do. Mm. Where I knew like, oh man, I I don't went. Have you ever went back, nigga, years later? Like this motherfucker was really on my side. I gotta find this motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah. Real shit. That piece of no. game you gave me ten years ago. Thank you, man. Mm. I didn't I didn't sat about sat down and thought about certain shit niggas have done for me just on the game tip, like just a few words, and it's brought a tear to my eye. Yeah. Life changes right. shit that regular everyday motherfuckers won't appreciate because they don't compartmentalize. Mm -hmm. They look at a nigga like uh, Duncan or Boo or Blaze, and, and and if something go wrong, they make the person, the whole person, a complete failure. Mm -hmm. It's like nigga, I just went to the pen for a couple years, nigga, but I ain't no motherfucking failure, nigga. Right. You know but, what I'm saying? But that's real. But let me let me see. But when I, when I 
Men a cock, men are lies, what you said. That nigga said cock, men are lies. I know it. That nigga said cock, men are lies. B-Ray, hold on, B-Ray. Now that's real, because you said some real shit, but I don't really get to it. Whenever I, you know, and, and like going with me, I say, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I came, nigga, I beat out a billion sperm cells by myself in the dark. Whenever I'm saying that I can't do it, or it's bad and woe is me, I beat out a billion sperm cells in the dark. Yeah, they yeah. said he was white with a tail. Hit the finish line, young black male. I'm here for a reason, my man. <laughs> everything, everything is all right. I can, I'm telling you, when I, when I, I start like, like worrying, who you, no, I beat out, of, I'm here already. It's been written. You did. <laughs> and don't get it twisted on this planet. Don't get it twisted. This shit ain't no coincidence. Yeah. Energy brings energy and good. That's why we here. Hey, my grandfather. Yeah. With this facts, on his facts. Death, on his deathbed. The broad taking care of him, she died too. Rest in peace, Elaine, later after my grandfather. She was the woman he was fucking with when he was cheating on my grandmother. I mean, I come to find out later that wasn't the only broad. Nigga had, you know, a few families. Right. But he told me, based on this, well, she right there. He talking about, like, she knows she had been the side bitch for 52 years. She know that. He talked to her in the position she's in. You know, he never gave a bitch more status than what she deserved. Like, bitch, this is your role. So I'm talking to you, like, go get the water. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she right there can hear. And he's like, I learned from this woman right here, because she's been around since I was with your grandmother. There was a woman. <laughs> and she's here. You know what I'm saying? I'm 89 years old. I got lung cancer. Yeah. I'm on my deathbed. You want, you, want me, you want me to drop a jewel? This is remember this, grandson. That nigga told me, life ain't about what you love. It's about what loves you. Wow. Niggas is running around here, running around here trying to make shit love them. That don't love them. Don't love them. Meanwhile, it's thirty motherfuckers back here that love the shit out of them. Right. But this bitch may neck may be a little buff. This <laughs> other bitch may not have no ass. Right. This other bitch may you judging motherfuckers wrong. What neck in the I gotta call my girl. If a mother, why would you ever shun away a motherfucker that loves you? It don't make no logical sense when you think about it. This motherfucker is fueled. With the gasoline that of you, me in them, you need. But we, and I'ma but, turn them away because they don't look like this other bitch that don't love me. Yeah. But we Negro peans, so we anything good we turn it to hate because we Negro peans. Talk about it. But we Negro peans. We 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 the Western world. Oh, and Negro. I, I'm not saying you you use a uptown Saturday night nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is with that God God. Cool They kill cornbread. <laughs> 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 I'm about to start singing. Yeah, I'm Damn, telling you, but, I'm living but, but I'm saying we're Negro Pen, so our ideology is <laughs> off, right? We're in the Western world. You know, we patriarchs. We're no, no longer matriarchs. So that's where that comes in. We want to be hated. We want the motherfucker that hate us. The motherfucker that love us, we kick them. It's like family. Think about it, your family. That's the worst motherfuckers. Oh, we supposed yeah. to love each other. Because they comfortable. Right? Yeah. But our mentality is gone. We don't have the mentality in Kemet no more. We don't have when we came to Western World. It's 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 crazy. You gotta go back and get that we, brain back. We've been we, we reprogrammed. We, we, thank you. So it ain't that we don't want it or, or, or we won't we want the, the negativity. We don't really know how to how to gauge things, you know what I'm saying? So we put a lot of value on the shit that costs money. And we put a little value on the things that are free. When yeah, in right, actuality, right. it's really the opposite in life. You well, know what I mean? Hold on, hold on. Let, let him get off. The coldest game a nigga told me, man, is uh, don't complain about the situation. Change it. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. that shit right there yeah, helped yeah. me a lot through life. Because I remember I was at a temporary agency. I, I had no record, but all the niggas there did. It was an OG from, like, East Coast. He was like, man. And I was like, man, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. Like, just complaining. You know, being young and not knowing. You yeah. know what I mean? Not having too much experience with life, but he said, "Don't complain." He was, "I'm gonna tell you what my mom always told me: Don't complain about it. Change it. Like, That's you got real. the opportunity. Like today, I even wrote something on the, uh, today. Like you couldn't, you could really design your life." Yeah. Like that's what I took from it. Like you do whatever you want to do. Like change every situation you feel like you don't like. Yeah, that's real. Cause my like, OG's told me he said it ain't a problem if you can walk around and talk about it. Mm. Right. <laughs> that's some real wow. shit, nigga. Hell yeah. yeah. That's some real motherfucker. That's all I my life, bro. Yeah. 
The yeah. person who got the uh, who reported the page. It's, uh, it's, that bitch motherfucker. Can I say it, that? Here's the thing, man. It's like. Because I fuck with y'all, man. I watch y'all jacking off. And, whoa. whoa. What do you mean? Whoa. 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 Only when Dozy got the women in here. I don't jump up and take a jerk I brought Otto to his feet. Oh, you need Otto? You need Otto? You too? Oh, you too? What shirt did I have on? The person who reported this show, look, man. I'm going to keep it 100. You love me. You love me. I already know. And that's the weird thing about... Right there. You know that yeah, statement, man. there's a thin line between a love and hate. Because you really had to know me and be following me for a while and know some of my work to report the video you reported. Right. You know what I'm saying? You love me. But the problem with you is you think that your way of love is the only way. If you fuck with me as a fan... You got to let me be who I am. You can't get mad because I don't say what you say or agree with what you agree with 100% of the time. That's not what Craig Facts is about. Craig Facts ain't about Craig being right. Craig Facts is about my take on facts. It ain't called Craig rights. <laughs> Craig ain't never wrongs. Right. I'm not here. I'm not here like some of these other conscious niggas. I'm not saying that my way is the way. I'm allowing you into the world of comedians and the vulnerability it takes to explore ideas and say way out shit, nigga. I ain't trying to be nobody's leader. I don't have no problem with gays or homosexuals or nobody of any other race, but regardless of what you race or what your sexual preference is, if you do something publicly and I read about it and I'm privy to the information, I'm going to have an opinion on the information. Mm -hmm. If you happen to be gay or happen to be whatever race you are, it ain't no issue with you. Yeah. So stop taking shit personal that you hear on this show, my nigga, because it this shit ain't about you. Stop making this show about you. It's about all of us. That part. Right? We need this show. It ain't no show like this out on the planet, man. It ain't no celebrity motherfuckers up in here. I ain't walking no retired bum ass NBA niggas in here. No whole ass rapper niggas in here and trying to feed off of what they got going. These is hard working everyday niggas in here giving you games. Shots. Shit you can really take and apply in your life, nigga. <laughs> we ain't up here dick riding, you know what I'm saying, uh, celebrities and shit. We welcome anybody that want to come on the show, but we regular niggas. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, man, stop doing that fuck shit, man. That's if you got an issue with me, nigga, you can call into the show. Yeah. But what you said, Craig, what's the difference between a fan and fam? A fan is a fanatic. That motherfucker's a fanatic. So of course they gonna be crazy. You gotta be careful, you're blowing up. The bigger you get, the bigger the shit gets. And the fan go, they think they're entitled. Right. Yeah, just cause they tell you you're great. And they say, they grease you, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they give you all this. But they, they're fanatic. They're crazy motherfucker. you can't get rid of them. Right. And they think you owe them something cause they think they owe you something. Man. See, they owe you. Right. And they can't deal with the owe you because guess why? We are, like you said, comedians and real motherfuckers. We are, they feel like they owe us something. Because we make them laugh, a, a giggle, a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, listen to music as artists. We didn't have doctors or psychiatrists, so we, mom put on their music. And that's all they said, even the niggas got their music. You know what I'm saying? Our entertainment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just said what you're saying. I'm trying to figure out the fuck this nigga's talking about. I ain't saying some shit, though. I know what you're saying, though, but I don't. Yeah, yeah, but no, I'm really right here, right here. No fingerprints. Those he might be the only one. I've been once or twice. I think Blaze is maybe having went because he's real solid, but everybody hasn't. We 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 don't have mental health professionals that we have access to. So as artists or even hustlers, 
we 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 maintain our sanity through our hustle and our art because that's where that's where we find value. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why we come here every week and we ain't really making no bread like that. I know y'all niggas think because y'all watch that it's cracking, but it ain't cracking like that yet. Y'all got to get us up to that Joe Rogan uh, it's level. Get y'all got to do that is like the there, fucking video. Like, like the video. But hold on, I'm saying all this to say if YouTube gives somebody the power to shut my pays down for a week who has a non valid claim, you never know what's coming next. So I need you to follow the Craig Facts page. We need that up to 10,000 subscribers just in case the page gets shut down and get shut down again and also subscribe to the Patreon because you know based on what's been happening uh, it's, it's highly likely that we're going to just be on Patreon very soon. I don't know how soon that's going to be but uh you know they keep giving me strikes and they keep fucking with me. If you get 3 strikes in 90 days your your page shuts down. And you have to start over again. Yeah. And we damn near at two strikes. Oh. You feel what I'm saying? So follow the Patreon, please, man. And follow the other Craig Facts page. Um, because at the end of the day, man, they don't want the world to hear the voices of level-headed black men who ain't out here talking, you know, doing no doing no weenie shit. It's facts. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say something, man. This book of phone, man. I've been doing I've been doing a long time, man, ever since Petunia Pig was a piglet. Craig Facts, y'all didn't Billy really said something about Craig and listen man, you ain't shit unless they striking you, man. If they not striking you, you ain't doing nothing. You doing so, something. I watched so. this show, bro. All bullshit to the side. Doji, you bring them beautiful men on here. <laughs> the one the one you be jacking off to? The ones you be jacking off to? Them niggas you be checking off too? Don't, don't do that. Like my nigga Craig said. Don't do that. Watch the show, bro. The wine, show, doji, man, Duncan, man, Blaze, all y'all, man, come on. Not you, nigga. It's, it, it's entertaining. It's hilarious. And y'all, y'all kick facts, bro. And y'all kick. Not only is buffoonery, not buffoonery, but intelligent buffoon. Like we gon' y'all say some crazy shit, but y'all get back to the facts and topics. Oh, yeah. So y'all support this show. And we got Brown in there. Fuck, man, this is I, I support this motherfucker. Okay, I'm putting a stamp on it. Because if these niggas, if show. they not doing this, we don't know what they gonna do. They might be going into your chimney or something. Uh, uh, might be producing at a, uh, at a butt naked water uh, a park. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know what that nigga gonna do. All the other niggas know it. Our blame's gonna do security. Uh, Tide gonna be somewhere, nigga, walking uh, fleas. We don't know, man. And, and Boo, Boo Dread's still gonna be short. <laughs> you look like Kung Fu Donut. <laughs> You don't know nothing about karate, man. You look like the oldest nigga in every room you walk in. All I want to know, is that big-ass bump on your forehead, Steve? You can't take that shit off? <laughs> that nigga got somebody, uh, uh, panties on his head. You look, you, never mind. Your head look like a knee. <laughs> Show just came up out of cocoon. <laughs> Hold on, what's your, what's, your, what's your other topic, Ty? <laughs> uh, the last topic I got is uh, Ennis Canner is calling out uh, Jeremy Lin, saying that he's not standing up for the uh, the Chinese, um, not not Chinese, uh, Indonesian, Taiwan, the Taiwan people. He's not standing up for them. This nigga Ennis Canter is a motherfucking. Yeah, he's he's staying in the news, though. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about him. Yeah, they're gonna be he's trash. Yeah. 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 You can't average three, three, three four. Yeah, no, no. Okay. It is Cantor. Oh. This nigga averaged, what, six, seven points a game? Yeah, that's about it. Shut your ass up, nigga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, shut, shut up. Shut your ass up. Six, so you can't be no activist if you're not active in your field. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't let yeah. niggas on the injured reserve uh, right. talking to press, press conference. That I'll nigga. be back soon. I've been hurt a while. <laughs> no, this is for active niggas. Yeah. Niggas that's yeah. on the court. Yeah. Yeah. You want your take on it. Right. You sit to this. Shut up, shut up and sit to this. Shut up oh, and sit to this, man. <laughs> Uh, Can't I'm tired of that nigga. Yeah. What else? That was that's it. That's it. That's all I got, y'all. What you got for a show? Oh man, Nick Cannon, bro. Um, his five month uh year old son had died, bro. Oh, oh man. Man. rest in peace, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Oh, right, yeah, yeah brain right, tumor. Pete, you know, he said that uh basically he was uh 
doing a routine check, you know, because of his breathing, you know what I mean? You know, babies are real fragile. So he was taking them to uh, the doctor as a routine checkup and found out he had brain cancer and he ended up passing. Mm -hmm. That was his back? Yeah. Which one? Uh, the five one? Month year, yeah, the five month year old. Wow, man. Five I, month I, year old? Listen, man. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Five, 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 five month year old? Yo, five, five month year old. He done with stuff. I know, I know. Baby. baby. Let me that tell you something. That is crazy. Man. And I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> How long, Donnie? You need to go back to the second uh, grade, my boy. How long, man? But listen, man, that's real spit beer. I, I have a son. I, 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 my, I've lost a mother. I lost a sister. Mother was murdered. Sister was murdered. I've never lost a son. I, I, I won't even think, fathom me losing my son. I don't think I can. It would take a lot for me to make it. Yeah. Like, like, like it is when you, when, you, when you lose your mama at nine or you, your, your big sister through violence. I mean, it takes a lot to live after that. So uh, my son, that's a hard one, man. So rest in peace yeah. to that baby. Uh, for yeah. real, man. That 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 weighs with me. Yeah. For real, man. I talk to my son every day. I tell him I love him. Man, be safe. Hey, cause you know, he, he you know, he just turned eighteen. He out man, I I, I go. Yeah. I go. When he go, I told him, I said, listen, be careful out there, cause when you go, I go. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's facts. Yeah, I, I don't think I can stay on this planet. Yeah, <laughs> sure, yeah. yeah, man, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. That's cold blood. Yeah, man, that's, that's cold. Parents ain't supposed to bury their kids. Nah, and that's some cold. dumb motherfuckers that's out there on the internet would be like, he's sacrificed. You know, the, the yeah, conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Man, won't they say that? Oh, it was the, the, the Gubbiati. Uh, niggas don't even know how to say Illuminati. I'm say, sick of niggas. Say, <laughs> they say it's the Vince Lombardi. Uh. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't. Niggas don't know how to say Illuminati. I, 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 I study this shit, bro. It's I'm not, not sick of it. It's not Illuminati. It's no, because it's Illuminate. But the Illuminate, they say it's the Illuminate. You come, it, that comes from Illumination. It's the mm -hmm. light. So it's not Illuminati. 30, it's what? not Illuminati. 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 That's too hot shit. That's why you got that bandana. It's Illuminati because it comes. Okay. It doesn't exist now. You have to understand something. The skull and bones is in. So when you deal with Illuminati, that comes from us. That comes from us. It all comes from us. But at the end of the day, you niggas the don't us, know how to say that. The US organization that said with a bunch Jesse of Jesse Jackson and Jesse Jackson. Y'all see Jesse Jackson? Jesse Jackson about to die. Y'all see the picture of Jesse? Yeah, he's sick, I think. Yeah, yeah what, us. What is, that was us. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, oh, let's get back to his topic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that little ass jacket ain't gonna cover what, you up, what, Florida Evans. Nigga, that nigga got a little ass Raider coat. A <laughs> Raider <laughs> coat, Raider. Raider what you got? What's your second thing? <laughs> All right, man. So, um, so, uh, Kalon Walker, you know what I mean? It's Who was that? Superfly nigga. Um, the nigga that played in Superfly, this nigga, uh, Oh, he played the lead. The new Superman? No, not Ryan the Ryan O'Neill. He played the new one. Yeah, the new one. Oh. I like the new one. We gotta specify that. The nigga got charged with uh, rape in like 2018 oh. with like 30 of them, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. He got charged with 30 rapes? Yeah, basically. Alleged the rapes. nigga with the perm that was in there? I ain't never watched the movie. I watched the, the movie. The movie had a perm. Because he was like 30 rapes? 30 different women sex what? assault. No way. Yup, he said he uh, lured the women and inspired models with photo shoots and like basically promised them a career. That's not a rape. Oh, it's fraud. <laughs> Baiting. You get fraud and bitches out of pussy. That's not that's a crime. Not right. <laughs> that's they, said, they said it was a tech, though. Huh? They said it was a tech. Sexual assault, my bad. I said the wrong shit. No, no sexual no, assault. You, you, you like said this. the right sexual shit a couple of lines before. Yeah, you, right. You know, he said. He lured, to the house, he lured him to the house on false pretense. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you famous. So it wasn't like he didn't rape them. He didn't take nothing from them. They just fucked them for the wrong. They fucked exactly. them thinking they was gonna get something. They didn't get it. Now, oh no, I'm no, that's now it's rape. That's yeah. what happened. Is that sexual assault? No, no, no. that's no. called that's, 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 that's game. Man. That's game. Look at that. I got you, bitch. I got you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The story. The story says this. He attacked them. Though. Okay, so if they got attacked, then then that's different. That's different. But if they if they, if they was fucking because they wanted something, that's yeah, not no, right. No, 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 no. That's I'm saying, not right. It's like you're inviting a broad out to dinner, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we finna go out to dinner. You know no, you I'm not saying that on stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when you had that raggedy end doll and you taped her up. That was great. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. You were right. You were so sure. I was right. Go ahead, boo. Go ahead. Yeah, no, don't. You were that that black western you was in on Netflix. That was fire. That was fire. That was fire. You got it on that black western. Black western. Black western. I'm so tired. Look, if if he was beating bitches up and taking pussy, he needs to be destroyed. But if he was fibbing. Fibbing? Fibbing. Fibonacci. You know, that's why. That's an all school saying. There needs to be a charge, man. Yeah. Women who lie about being raped, yeah. they need to be in the pen. That's why I fuck with that one uh, artist. He said if, even if they just hanging out, he make them sign consent forms. Right. You shut your dumb seat looking ass up. Now look, sock her the back of head and take the cock. <laughs> and we don't kick it with busters and khaki G strings. <laughs> skip, skip. Get in my walk on. Hey. <laughs> 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 Listen, <laughs> the the cock, we know you do. If it was 89 on the Benny gave you a black eye, you know what I'm talking about. That's how I can make it. Yeah, I'm already know Willie Man, man, man. Well, Juicy Smollett. Ju is it Juicy? Is it Juicy? Don't call him Juicy. Ju Juicy Smollett. That's the French actor. Juicy fruit. <laughs> the famous French actor. Juicy. The famous French actor. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's back in court, you know what I'm saying? They want to know what actually happened in Chicago on that cold night. Was it, <laughs> was it really white boys in MAGA hats yeah. calling him a nigger uh, gay boy, or was it just the actual I Nigerians? It was the Nigerian brothers that he, he hired. What's up? You know what I'm saying? That dozy peoples. Uh, <laughs> not even. Who's my cousin? So they was your bond niggas. So I don't believe it. Don't so don't disrespect so basically, I think I think that <laughs> the, the, this is what the Nigerian dude said. He's saying that that he had came up on some hard times with some bread, okay. and he was working on the set of uh, what's it called? Um, Empire? Empire. Yeah, Empire. And he was like, "No, I need to, I need some bread with the movie." Like, you know what? I got this thing I want to do. I'm saying gonna give me some more money next season with the whoop. It's gonna put us. I'm saying I got. I got. I just need you to do this and this. Go buy these hats. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna be here walking, setting through the whole thing. You know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Juicy like nah, that ain't never happened. What happened is what I said happened. I don't know what he talking about. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying. They wanted to, the, and now he's up for you know what I'm saying. Lying up, I guess uh, filing a false report or something. They said they spent like some like. Hundred like two hundred fifty thousand dollars on this case. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Chicago Chicago want they money either they money back, you know what I'm saying, or they want their time. You know what I'm saying? So he finna either get like I think like six months in jail and a two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine if he get caught guilty for this. Oh, his ass is no more grass. You know what I'm saying? Listen, juicy Juicy <laughs> Hold on, this is his topic. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga take food out your mouth. Baby. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, hold on, man. Fuck this. I don't know what I don't know the thing. I thought he was done, nigga. I'm not going to Texas. New York. I'm not going to Texas, motherfucker. I'm about to show run. No, no, but go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go. No, no, I'm done. Juicy. Shout out to Smell. Uh, uh, the $200 donation. The donation. The $200 donation. I forgot the name because y'all was talking about it. Nah, nah. I love this shit, but I don't know. Nah, nigga. But no. I didn't, I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to do it. No, I didn't, I didn't. It just ran past me. But but what you're saying is is real juicy. You have to understand something. It's a judicial mm -hmm. system. You, you, you have a ju. It's called a judicial system. Mm -hmm. Juicy. You have the uh, the 
the paddy, that's the police time. And then you have the paddy wagon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the paddy wagon comes from. I, but but the whole no, thing. Yeah, but, finish saying what the fuck you just. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> 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 it's the paddy wagon. I said it was. It was dad. <laughs> 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 see, I told him I told him that I told him that I told him that I told him that I told him So what you saying is right. So when you dealing with the judic, the 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 judic. Judicial system, and you have wow. the, the, you know, the police, which is the law, which is jude, you know, judicial. Then you have, you know, some other stuff. So yeah, he's in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you landed that motherfucker, right? And then you went from judicial to other stuff. Yeah, yo, what the fuck? No, you're talking about the law. Like, like you can't, you can't really, you know, perjure yourself a lie and he lied. That's my, that's my take on it. His ass is no more grass. You have to pay some money, like you said, because when you go to the motherfucking um, the courtroom, it's courts, right? And then you have to, you go to the bench. Bench is a, a, a Masonic word for bank. Boom. Right. Whenever you go to... Your room is a bank. Yeah, it's a bank. Whenever you whenever you go and deal with that law, because I just deal with whenever it. Whenever you get hit with a charge. Charge. Mm. But you have to understand something. Um, or understand it. When you go... It, it, listen listen to me, dummy. Um, <laughs> I've been studying this. I've been studying this shit since I was like a baby. Friend, son, listen, son. when you it's the bitch is not studying as a baby. <laughs> you a motherfucking liar. No, no, you ain't telling me. You shit a mama. On the titty studies. I was studying. My dad, my sister worked. Uh, went to school with uh, Marcus Garvey. Right there, she's bringing all the books. She went to she Marcus Garvey. No, she said no. She taught in Marcus Garvey. Right, right. Oh, went to school with Marcus Garvey. Shout, shout, shout out to Sheree. Shout out to Sheree. But I'm saying it because I want to just jump on what Duncan was saying because your boy, he he lied. So when you deal with law and when you go to court, a courts, you know what I'm saying? That's right. He has multiple courts. No, uh, what, it, it deals with death, bro. It, that's why the, the the hangman were black. That's why the jurors were black. I mean, the judge were black. And it, it is 12, it's 13. Jurors and the judge, 13. That's so when you like, that, that's hold on, like, dummy. Hold on, let me say, <laughs> let me say what's one thing. It just sound like you doo-doo of the lip. Well, that hat sounds like you look like Eba Elbows. Eba <laughs> Elbows? <laughs> but let me just say this, because I want to I wanna let you know, when you, when you go to court, it's all about money, bro. I just did community service, bro. They worked us like slaves. We cleaned up everywhere from Compton to Canoga Park. Man. I couldn't walk for three days. So, so stay out of jail. But yeah. y'all couldn't walk for three days. Stay out of jail. What kind of cell made you have? I need a cell that goes back out. Oh, you know, pay that nigga. This nigga, this nigga got raped during community service. On the one on five. That nigga let a nigga with too many traffic tickets rape. You gotta work that down, man. That nigga got raped by a good Samaritan. That nigga got raped by a nigga in the freeway jail. That nigga got raped by a nigga raped in the carpool lane. That nigga got raped by a nigga raped by a volunteer. Yeah, that nigga got raped by a nigga in the freeway jail. That nigga got raped by a nigga in the freeway jail. That nigga got raped by a nigga in the freeway jail. That nigga got with some niggas. <laughs> well, all right. So anyway, so <laughs> what's, your, what's your second topic? So uh, uh, second topic is uh, I mean I touched on it a little bit earlier. Uh, my nigga Tank fought this weekend. It was Saturday. Two fights actually. That was a good fight. Devin Haney fought uh, JoJo Diaz. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Great fight. Uh, Devin Haney's just way too smart for niggas in that ring, bro. Like it's gonna be hard to beat him. But. Tank came through, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say Tank looked it bad, but we didn't know who this other nigga was. Yep. So we figured that he would just wash, you know what I'm saying, Isaac Cruz, and he didn't, you know what I'm saying? We went to, went to the 12th round with the whole shit. Yeah. He got a unanimous decision, you know what I'm saying? Most people thought he lost. I don't Appreciate you, so. Darrell. Yeah, good looking with the twin, my fam. But uh, it, was, it, was, it, was a good, it was a good close fight, you know what I'm saying? I think dude won by four or five rounds. <laughs> I give him four, eight to four, you know what I'm saying? But Niggas is on tank head right now. You know what I'm saying? The boxing mini is saying he ain't as good as we thought he was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't like. This he hurt his hand. He broke his hand. He broke. They showed. They showed X-rays. He got X-rays. His hand broke. So what I'm saying is, 
for him to break his hand in with the fourth, fifth round, you can see it. Like when he did it, you, you saw him go, ah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He hurt his hand. Even the old boy knew. So he was like, so like from that that round to the 12th, fighting a nigga with one hand that's yeah, trying to crazy. knock your head off. Right. That's crazy. And still, you know what I'm saying, punching hard and got to keep him off you because you got to, you know what I'm saying, stand your ground. Yeah. Though at some point, can't right. keep running from this nigga, you going to land something. Right. And that's what happened at the end of the, end of the fight. He started catching up with Tank. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you going to be fighting with one hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, People don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't. They, this is not, this is not, because you get you knock niggas out, and that's all they want to see. If you right. ain't doing that, I don't nigga, that shit was trash. Two things, Devin Haney, I'm to your Devin Haney point. He needs to go up and wait. 147? Because 140? a lot of times these fighters that cut weight, they lose power. Shh. Devin Haney is a 147-pounder fighting that lightweight. Yeah. He needs to... It's his way up to 147 because he's too famous and it's taking too much of his power For real. cutting that weight. If he goes to a higher weight, and niggas act like Devin ain't got no power. Yeah. He got 20 fights and 15 knockouts. The nigga has power. Yeah, really the problem man. is he ain't got enough weight under him. If he goes to his appropriate weight, he'll start knocking niggas out. Yeah, stop him. He's too fast. He's fast. He's hitting hard. He's smart. He got a chin. Even when it looked like he's hurt, he's not really hurt like that. It's the, the weight cut is getting him. It's getting him, yeah. He, 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 he got it. I don't know if his goal is to be, to be undisputed or what his goal is, but this next fight should be his last, last fight at that weight. I don't even think him tanking to Flamo should fight at lightweight. They they should be fighting that. They should all of them should meet up at 140. Yeah, they say and Devin even said it like it's 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 killing them to make 135. You know what I'm saying? Him and Tank gonna fight? Or? Probably at 140. Probably at 140, 147. They ain't gonna fight at 135 because they ain't no really no really money to fight down there. You know what I'm saying? They wanna fight at 140, 147. That's hey Craig, who would you who would you got if him and Tank fought? Well, he's, right now I would have Haney because of the length. But you can't. Let Tank hit you like you've been letting these other motherfuckers yeah, hit you. Yeah, he turned you off. Tank is the hardest hitting lightweight in the history of boxing. Shh. I can't think of another lightweight hit harder than Tank. What about Show? And he's a gay boxer. They call him Fruit Punch. <laughs> 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 You look like I paid money on that nah, beer. Nah, hell no, nah, nigga. You still paying on that beer. Nigga. Yo, you got a meth beer. Yo, yo, you got a meth beer. You got a meth beer. Nigga, you got a great beer. Nigga, your motherfucking afro is reversible, nigga. You look like Marvin Gaye mama when she grow the beer. Nigga, your hair. Yo, you look like the nigga that Blaine tells him, nigga, say, welcome to hell. Like, you look like the nigga. Nigga, you look like the nigga. Old ass nigga. Y'all get up for biscuit for life. Y'all biscuit. You look like a wrapped up cow. No, I ain't gonna say that, but your, uh, your elbow stink. <laughs> Listen, nigga, if you take that hat off, nigga, you see all type of roaches on your head. Yeah, like the video, man. Like, 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 like the video. 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 That was all right. Come on. Fair enough. You got a stone tablet ID? You got a stone tablet ID? Stone tablet ID? Anyway, man, that's all I have. Go ahead. That was all your shit? Yeah, that's down. That's down with. Okay, what you got for us? Me city of Oakland, somebody burned down the holiday Christmas tree. Oh, wow. I, mean, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 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 That's got to be hella evil, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like <laughs> He's trying to do his material up there. <laughs> Tell the Oakland Christmas it's tree. It's material going on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 material together. Humans are weird, motherfuckers. True story. Yeah. I was on the phone with Blaze the other day. He was talking about weird old niggas. Humans in general are just weird. Nah. There's fun. niggas out there who watch the news and prank call people they see experiencing tragedies on the news. <laughs> <laughs> oh no way. That's, that's fucked up. No, that's man. called views and internet niggas. 
That's fucked That's up. some weirdo ass nigga to see him. I lost my son. And he, oh, I'm gonna call this bitch. I'm gonna crank out. Hey, it's me, your son. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you should shoot a nigga like that. Niggas like that, you gotta take the fat. You gotta take the fat. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's burnt out. <laughs> <It's me, your laughs> <son. laughs> well, oh, niggas is just weird, man. Uh, what's, your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your topic, D? <laughs> all right, man. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, Damian Lillard. All right. So Damian Lillard said he wants to play alongside of Ben Simmons. All right. Uh, but uh, but we all know that Damian Damian Lillard also said he always he look like a cool ass Dr Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. A cool one, though. <laughs> <laughs> Craig looked like he dressed like a pool shark tonight. <laughs> but anyways, Damon Lillard, you know, he said he wanted to stay with the Trailblazers for the, for his whole career. So he's trying to bring people over there to do it with him. You know what I mean? But a lot of people are saying his loyalty is... Uh, is saving him from the criticism he deserves. Meaning like when LeBron didn't have a ring, uh, Durant didn't have one, they was giving them all backlash, but because he's staying loyal, they're not giving it to him. So what I think is this, I mean, I got a, I got a debate for y'all, right? Uh, Damian Lillard, he decides he wants, I, I feel like he's not gonna win a, uh, win a championship in Portland. I think he gotta go somewhere else to get a ring, right? Yeah. If Damian Lillard does not leave Portland, he doesn't get a ring, has he done enough has, has he had enough impact on the game, in, on the court and off the court, to be mentioned in the likes of Yao Ming and Allen Iverson and Barkley? He better than Clyde Drexler. But wait, but my opinion, in yeah, my opinion, weird. this is what I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this. Damian Lillard is known for his game on the court, but Yao Ming had a whole country backing him. Iverson changed the whole culture of basketball. You feel what I'm saying? So 20, 30 years down the line, we're going to be talking about them. I feel like when we talk about Dame Lillard, we also talk about Steph. We talk about the greatest shooter of all times, three, four years, I mean, 20, 30 years down the line. The impact, I, I don't think Dame Lillard has had as much Dame impact Lillard as that. Dame Lillard is the Stephon Marbury of this generation. Mitch, Mitch you know? Richmond. But we're not talking no, about Stephon Marbury. Him. But we're not. Man, yeah. 30, nigga. You crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Dame Lillard is not Mitch better Richmond. than Stephon no. Marbury in his prime, nigga. But you crazy as a Dame motherfucker. Is that Are you a crazy as a motherfucker? I don't give a fuck murder as you know, nigga. Hold on. Hold on. You know we don't have time no better. He wants to let those get off. 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 Let Look, I would look. Yeah, Allen yeah, Iverson. Yeah, Allen Iverson. Yeah. Stephon Marbury can't Marbury. shoot. Yeah, right. Stephon Marbury can't shoot. Steph, uh, Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Dame Lillard. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Steph if, you put it, if you're doing it like that, then I it's see. Actually, wow. uh, Stephon Marbury is actually a better all-around player than Allen Iverson. Yes. Yeah. yes. He's a okay. better basketball player. But, but that brings But the, the consensus, everybody gonna pick my, uh, pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my point. Just Dan Lillard is a better all around Hooper than Steph. Yes. Than Steph Curry. Yes. yes. But that's my point. Yes. No, but nobody's talking. Nobody. Oh, all around. But look, but that's my point. So you, when we you, talk about when we talk about great players who never got rings and the impact they had on the game, we don't talk about Stephon Marbury. That's my point. We don't talk about we don't talk about Steph. When we talk that's about left. when they say who don't have a ring, we talk about Barkley. We talk about Iverson. We talk about yeah. You think think about that. We don't. We don't. Nobody says. Nobody says Stephon Marbury. So that's what I'm saying. Down the line, I think we'll be talking more about Steph Curry, and and, and you know what I mean because of the shooting. That's what I'm saying on the court. But off the court, the impact he got, I don't think he got that much. To, you know what I'm saying? To even for 20, 30 years down the line. I'm talking about Steph. I'm talking about Lillard. Okay. If he is, if he is, if he, that's what I'm saying. If he is a Steph Curry, if, if he is a Steph Marbury of today, that's my point. Twenty, thirty years down the line, we're not talking about Steph, Steph yeah, Marbury right Marbury now. Marbury is a legend in China. But we don't talk about him. Nobody Nigga, we in America. Nigga, And Marbury wasn't even like the main player on this team. Yeah, he was never that guy. You're crazy as a motherfucker. On Minnesota, not like that. Like not like Lillard. Yeah, not like Lillard. Not like Lillard. Yes. No, not like Lillard. No, 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 no. Y'all talk to all American. No, no, no. That's my table. Garnett was the main player. Like, thank you. Huh? On the Timberwolves? Look, you're my homie. Let me tell you something. Marbury 
Okay, how long did he play with the Timberwolves? Three years? That nigga was a man in China. Timberwolves. <laughs> okay, he Nets. went to he went to the Suns. He was the man on the Suns. Man on the Suns. Killing shit. He was the man on when he was in uh with the with the Nets. Yeah, he was a man at, at the Virginia uh, what's the name? Georgia Virginia. Tech. Georgia Tech. He, he was a man there. That's it. That's the homie. He was the number one option for at least He was the shit. For at least seven, eight years of his career. His he was brother was better, better than him. He was tw- he was twenty plus and seven, eight assists a game. But what he's what has he accomplished? Accomplished. Has he ever been MVP? Yeah. Have he ever had a ring? Has Lillard ever been MVP? Has he Mark ever had was a ring? Never so an twenty, MVP right? Play. So that's what I'm saying. So why would we be talking about him 20, 30 years down the line? If he, look, if he hasn't had the impact, nor if, if he hasn't had the impact or accolade, if he hasn't had the impact or accolades, you get what I'm saying? Go ahead. Come on. Let me land. Not the watch. Land. You bitch you. <laughs> Who ahead, played basketball here? I mean, I mean, I mean, in high school. All of us did. Me, I, you all played in high school. Yes, did you yes. start? Yes. How we know you Where did you start? Did you go to Chris Shaw? Did you start? Fairfax, West Chester. Yeah, Where did you go? Nigga, we beat Chris Shaw. We Which high school you went to? I was in Arbonne. Your mom went shit. shit. I got a chip. I got a chip. My people went Hey, it's all documented. We ain't gonna argue about it. It's all American shit, nigga. It's all documented. It's all documented. Nigga, I can get I, I, I went to Fairfax, nigga. Like you was. I went like to Fairfax. I was supposed to go to Chris. I was the best, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's my last basketball game. And from the sixth so. grade all the way up. Shit. You said eighth grade, sixth grade. Well, yeah. all the way up. I said all the way up. Listen, all when, when you did sixth grade, all, all, all the way up. Listen, grade. man, watch, watch. Sixth grade, all the way up. Anybody that you cap, they you capping and they know it. All right, <laughs> fuck them. Anybody oh, from man. LA? I'm talking about South Central Los Angeles. No, graduated that I was the best. <laughs> no, me and Dale I was the best. Bad. Jim Gilliam Park, Rancho Park, Queen Anne Park, Northern Park. Go at it, okay? Elvin Campbell, Dale Strawberry was a freshman. <laughs> well, I was a senior. If that nigga take that, so he get on the team. Bob McAdoo used to come to Crystal High School. Fuck you. If Craig, if Craig take that hat off, it would be some extra mask up under the moment. He give out masks. Listen, listen. Leonard, Leonard, and 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 Stefan. Like Stefan was shit at Georgia Tech. He was that nigga was the coldest coming out, right? When he went to the where the Knicks, right? Anybody remember that? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. No, he was. He, come on, man. If y'all know basketball, so let he me. Said land. He knew. You niggas don't know. You niggas don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. Listen. Let me land, bro. Come on, man. Cause I ain't never seen y'all with, with nigga with nowhere. Let me land. We seen you where? Never seen y'all nowhere. Y'all ain't never been to Magic Johnson. Y'all ain't never been to Magic Johnson. Start a weekend time. I, that's years ago. I just said you talking to a real basketball. You talking to a nigga, man. You playing for the butt nigga Hall of Gold Trotters. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't get mine off. I'm like, let me go get up. It ain't all about jokes. Let him get it all. Let him get it all. It's not all about jokes. These are facts. Talk about Magic Johnson weekend. Go ahead. Hello, Dudley. They were like Dudley. When Dudley got raped. I know. <laughs> I know he doesn't have it. That nigga made wow. him hot dog. <laughs> hey, I thank you, Pierre. I buff Pierre. That nigga look like a buff ass Pierre. Listen, but but the thing about it is, when you said uh, uh, Leonard, right? Uh, Leonard, yeah. Leonard. Leonard. Um, that dude, if you Shout watch Portland. He carries Portland as a small guard. The last small guard was that dope was who? Played for the Lakers. Who? Norman Nixon. Like them type of guards. Baron Davis. Them that little guards. Sophomore, that's me. Let, listen to me. Stephen Curry. Them little guards. I, even a Byron Scott. Man, th- man, if you watch this dude, he carries Portland, bro. So the reason why he's Better than Stefan Moore. Now, Steph can get there. He can, man, hell of a, man, hell of a no, no, let me land. He's a hell of a penetrator, and he dishes. He can't oh, shoot. He can't score. He gets to the basket okay. and misses Ooh. the layup. Stefan Marbury, he's a hell of a player, but he can't. Leonard scores. It's the difference between shooters, scores, defensive players. Damon Lillard, I mean, Stefan Moore is a, a scorer. better point guard than Damon Lillard. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, as a point guard, because a point guard is a facilitator. Mm-hmm. He facilitates. Right, right. He gets. He don't want to score. But my my point in that De- is Leonard is a scorer, bro. Davis I don't think. I don't. Seven, what were you trying to say? I was saying for, for his career, Dame was averaging twenty four point six points and six point seven assists. His career, six. right? You know, so like, but what I'm saying is, what's going to make him? Mem- why are we? What are we going to re- remember crazy? him for? 
All these years later. Second best uh, career. Yeah, I'm saying career down the line. Stretch. In the NBA, is 20 and 7. Mm -hmm. He's had years where he averaged. He had a one, two, three, four, five, six year of averaging uh, 21 plus. How long has he been in the NBA? He played a total of, uh, he played like what, 14 years or something like that? Dames. Yeah. Oh, Dames. Lowest career is 19. Right. 19 his, lowest, years. his lowest average. Nine. So I get, what, what about assists? He was in the lowest five option though, right? His lowest assist is 5.9. Okay. okay. So how long have they he had? He um, in 2019 he averaged eight assists a game. Yeah. So he was putting up 30 points. So, so even with these, he ever been to China? So at the end of the day, y'all y'all think you guys never think he's playing China? Never had to play in China. <laughs> 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 we're gonna go to a commercial break. Right we're gonna, we're gonna, right there. We're gonna, we're gonna go to never had to play. We're gonna go to commercial break. When we get back, more Craig facts. Do the do the nigga do the make sandwich. What is it? Don't leave me. Too late. I'm going to Felicia's house because I need to clear my mind. This is not my fault. This is not your fault. It's not me, baby. I just can't focus. I need you to be here to help me get through this. I'm not your therapist. I'm your woman. And all of this is too much for me. Just give me an opportunity to make this up to you, baby. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Nobody's buying my shirts. Because it's a dumb idea. Look at yourself. Where are you going in that shirt? The bowling alleys are closed. I can't even focus because you don't believe in me. They're ugly. That's why no one bought them. I've been throwing strikes for the last four years. Magnus, enough with the bowling terminology. A couple months of a slip up and you're gonna gutter ball this relationship? Enough with the bowling terminology. I don't even like bowling. What kind of nigga who doesn't own a bowling alley wants to sell bowling alley button up t-shirts? It's a button up bowling pin dress shirt business. How many of you wish that there was a better solution to pay off your debt? Our sponsor, PDS Debt, has customized a 0% interest option for those people struggling with credit cards, personal loans, medical bills, collections, and other types of debt. Because of the tough year from COVID-19, there are certain types of debt that can be reduced or even eliminated from your credit. There are more options now than ever to take control of your debt and the experts at PDS Debt can help you. PDS Debt is giving our listeners a free debt analysis and a copy of their credit report just for completing a 30 second debt assessment on pdsdebt.com forward slash Craig. Look, if you're making payments every month and your balances aren't going down, this program is for you. The average American has a credit card debt and a personal loan debt exceeding $5,000 and they're paying two and a half times what they originally spent. PDS Debt rolls all your monthly payments into one 0% interest payment. Everyone with over $5,000 in personal debt qualifies. There is no minimum credit score required. Bad and fair credit accepted. Save thousands in interest and fees. Pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. All you have to do is fill out a 30 second debt assessment at pdsdebt.com forward slash Craig. There are more options now than ever to take control of your debt and the experts at PDS Debt can help you. PDS Debt is giving our listeners a free debt analysis and a copy of their credit report. If you're making payments every month and your balances aren't going down, this program is for you. PDS Debt rolls all your monthly payments into one zero percent interest payment. Everyone with over $5,000 in personal debt qualifies. There is no minimum credit score required. Bad and fair credit accepted. Save thousands in interest and fees. Pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. Take back your financial freedom today. Go to pdsdebt.com forward slash Craig. Some trees until we OD. I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we OD. Uh, I think we OD. Clear the air like some trees until we OD. I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we OD. I when I buy it, you buy it. But ain't nobody selling shit Jealous of the fetishes when ownership's the medicine Do the things that boomerang so you can leverage it Shit gets hairy, be a wig and get ahead of it Miss you say you bored, we not on one accord Arguing and fighting, damn near mopping up the floors 
That lesbian sex shit ain't free She gon' have to pay you Cause you got to pay me And we keepin' this in order Can't be a dime without the rest of my quarter Cause I'm never there sorta Before me, it was a bunch of weird niggas around you Hobby shop till I broke the board I'm karate chop And I'm really not into violence Interpretate the silence as prizes and I'm really more into vibing, you perpetrating Simons or Hymans. I think we OD'd, clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we od uh, I think we OD'd, clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we od Lost some weight, but he ain't came too far Hit that alarm 1,500 times a day Trying to show you his car And we both know he's proud of it Go off and dance some of that clam And watch some chowdery Cause you could be with the miss But without a bitch The with is the money And without is the glitch You're paying her to leave If she breathe, you should trip Miami, the Grammys, New York A trip I'm searching for emotion But all I know is logic she wants to be my girlfriend, I sure like my closet Cause we can be close and yet still remain strangers Leave that where you from shit to them gang bangers I'm highly advanced, the message in the dance Some of y'all wear the skirts while those of us wear the pants You wanna know the difference? It's really not explicit It's when a nigga talk to his bitch, shut up and listen uh, I think we od clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds But I'm man enough to say that we OD uh, I think we od Clear the air like some trees until we OD I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds But I'm man enough to say that oh, we OD Believe that Grind it for I get it. get it Bring my niggas with me Ain't no limits to the ceiling, ceiling. Out here touching digits, digits. Hoes showing love But, but please, please don't catch no feelings Riding with that thumper Thumpa. While I'm thumbing through these millions Hunting to feed my children Lying in the jungle All I do is fucking kill children. Craig Facts Live Coming to Austin, Texas December 10th and 11th Featuring the Craig Smith and my boys, the Craig Facts crew. It's also an all deaf alum takeover with Teddy Ray. What's up, Teddy? And my boy, Ken Edwin, I see you. And Big Ja, to the max, he'll be there. And the legends, Jahan Jones and Rito Brown will be there. Purchase your tickets now before we sell out. 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. shows, December 10th and 11th. God, God, God. Just blowing off steam, bro. Trying to get money from my people. Put the time I own fire, no equal. 
fire up some cause I'm so stressed New cash money, niggas from the so fresh Big money, big progress Big talk when we cash X Boss speaking, niggas say less Are you ready for the prime time? Stop playing, nigga, bang my line I'ma get rich or die trying Hey, the niggas don't bend, no Blowing smoke out the window Pass bucks to my kin folk Hang a nigga from a thin rope But we trying to get it in, though Can't wait to the end, though Ain't game like Nintendo Hot shit, but I'm so cold My God Don't offend me with friendly fire Don't like your energy cause men be liars New attendees will then be biased Don't like your energy cause men be lying Oh you a gangster on the inside But I don't like your energy A parrot in his mimicry Cut coke, sell crack, hard on black But watch police kill feel And you ain't hard on that We supposed to be brothers but you Forgot you was a Jew Started acting like a nigga Look what this has come to A new identity Holes in male clothes With them brood hostilities Look I just want a shot To impair mares with red dots Cause acting to get you work like headshots In my car with a bizarre Asian White coupe, the car is Caucasian On a star blazing Uh. Yeah, uh. Lisa Leslie should have had a baby with Shaq. China did that very thing, that's what made y'all mean. We choose emotion, mistaking it for the facts. So you kneel with a ring, thinking it's the real thing. And you were sorta kinda, an ornament reminder. I need to get my shit together, caught up in this binder. Between me being free and your pearl boss, that turns girls from earls to hard offs. Not a large crowd, but the disemboweled Kissing for that missing mile Looking for a distant child Sticking with you like I'm gaming I might have made your mind claim it Because it's dangerous to be the woman you are But make the choices you do Just know that being with her is like being with you She left me for a woman that's a gym And I ain't been the same since No, your new boyfriend is a woman named Hammer She got pregnant when I'm fixed And I ain't been the same since Oh, no, ain't no police around Believe me, I got a scanner I think I lost my way, but I'm on my way Said I lost my way, but I'm on my way We lost our way, but I'm on my way Going, going, going It's over! Used to hand my check over, partial flaw Eminem in Congress, martial law Bit of trouble though it's settled, there's an art to gnaw Like gnaw, I said it you nine months pregnant, I'm a two year edit Got clip, put a boat on the box, gave me somebody's gift Clocking into work, working somebody's shift Looking at this baby like, whose body's this? But she don't know that I know But she makes more than me and I'm not ready to go Got them track shoes on, yes, the runaround show You know when you be like, this nigga I right, But you really wanna fight So you let him catch you staring at his wife out of spite Cause you know he can't whoop you And this shit gonna be I right. Well that's the runaround off the gunner sound, you can pick it up, or you she can left put it me down. for a woman that's a gym, and I ain't been the same since. No, your new boyfriend is a woman named Hammer. Yeah. She got pregnant when I'm fixed, and I ain't been the same since. Oh no, ain't no police around, believe me, I got a scanner. I think I lost my way, but I'm on my way. Said I lost my way, but I'm on my way. We lost our way, but I'm on my way. Going. A lot of motherfuckers don't know I got five albums. I'm back in the lab, working on my sixth LP, the Chill Withers Project. I got a lot coming, man, support. Don't let this quarantine hold you back. I'm with Cube on this. What's in it for us? Walk rolls are off the Change my heart.
Did everything in tools, then built my arc. Cause I've been old, childish alchemists, cause I've been gold. A lot of rebounding like Robin on the sparks, and I've been told. Great men do it, cause they been through it with the right Ben bow. I judge ya. On what happens when I'm done, will she raise soldier when he raise gun? Or will he get exposure and D Wade son? We fought it out, bad tenant, her dad did it, gave notice and got it out. Now I walk in belief and travel without a doubt. If I owe you something, I'm not gonna be able to give it to you, but if you want it, you can get it from God, nigga. Craig Facts Live coming to Austin, Texas, December 10th and 11th, featuring the Craig Smith and my boys, the Craig Fax crew. It's also an all deaf alum takeover with Teddy Ray. What's up, Teddy? And my boy, Ken Edwin. I see you and Big Ja to the max. He'll be there. And the legends, Jahan Jones and Rito Brown, will be there. Purchase your tickets now before we sell out. 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. shows, December 10th and 11th. God, God, God. Show didn't see his mama kissing Santa Claus. He seen him fucking him. <laughs> he was wearing your mama out. Santa Claus talking about, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> your, daddy, your daddy jack off to your baby picture. Small mind, <laughs> That was nasty. Small mind, EDU, appreciate the donation, man. Pizza Inc., man, we love you. Y'all been supporting the show for a year. Thank you. Thank you for the donations. That means a lot, man. Man. Yeah, man, this is, this might be the highest uh, grossing show so far, donation-wise. Mm -hmm. I wonder I why. I appreciate y'all. Let's get to $5,000 a Let's day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, One time I seen yeah. Corey uh, get, it had to be eight, 9000 oh, in one show. Yeah. Wow. Shit, we did that right out of my armor release. No, we did we did a thousand dollars a day. Hell no. You got about he people. We appreciate it because we're coming to Austin, Texas. And we taking this camaraderie and game and all the shit that's going on in this room and we're gonna do it in front of y'all and you're gonna get a chance to rock out with the crew and meet everybody individually and give us an opportunity to help those that come after us. The little niggas out there, the little Blazes and the little Duncans and the little Dozes and all you motherfuckers that's younger than us that can't figure certain shit out. I guarantee there's somebody in this room that's figured out something that you ain't been able to figure out. Come to the show, get that game. Fuck with us, man. Real spit. What's your last topic you got before, dude? All right, did y'all see the verses? The Three Six Mafia yes, and Boom. Sir. All right, yeah. so for those that didn't see it, it was a. Bum, 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 rush, bum, rush. <laughs> Tell me what you gonna do with the way to hide. Don't make it all catch me high. Your name is Gangsta Boo. It's gonna be you. And I'm gonna miss everybody with this one, to two, to three. <laughs> so yeah, for those that don't know, it was a fight that broke out before the battle started. Uh, Busy Bone felt like they were mocking the way he raps, and he threw the microphone over there. Uh, Juicy J responded with, you know, you can have, it, you know, get to the bow down, whatever. Uh, they start getting it in, but anyways, DJ Paul gave his story on what he felt like happened. He said nobody on their side was mocking him at all. He said that Busy Bone was already on one early. Earlier, he said he'd already was texting, calling them uh, devil worshippers and stuff like that. He said they, huh. he said they not devil worshippers. Two of the members, uh, Project Pat and uh, Juicy J Dads, both of their dads are preachers. So he said they weren't trying, they weren't trying to diss him or none of that. They just need him to stay off his meds or whatever. But at the end of the day, DJ Paul said he would love to get together and do like a crazy song where he would produce the track and Busy Bone would get on there and get it and get it going. <clears throat> so my question, y'all, which rivals? In hip hop, would y'all think would make the best song if they got on something together? Oh man, that's 
Oh man, that's a good I, question. I, 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 I got one. I got one. Let me get busy bone back real quick. We throwing my nigga under the bus a little bit. Listen, they won. Please tell us. Listen, when he said. You two ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> that, that hurt them niggas' feelings. So, Juicy J gonna say, nigga, suck my dick, nigga. That's when it got to that's when it got who you, First of all, who you talking to? You don't play with it. I don't play that That's my D thing. Come on, dude. Yeah, Girl, yeah. man, nigga, that means, like, hold on, what? Yeah, that's different. And then, you know what I'm saying, nigga, already, because he was like, I was trying to get into the the battle rap part of it, the, the showman shit, yeah, and yeah. let's talk shit to him, you two ugly motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That hurt them niggas from me. You thought them ugly motherfuckers? Yeah, yeah. but yeah, a gr- a gr- that man words a grown man supposed to use. Nah, <laughs> not, not <laughs> like that. You don't, you don't use my- ugly? That yeah, shit. Oh, if we clown, I'm gonna call you ugly. Ain't not serious. I'm not serious at all. Yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. That's too soft. You call a nigga ugly. Let's like, say I'm not attracted to you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's soft. <laughs> that's not how I look. Hey, it's too, it's too right, funny. Nigga you say you ugly. That's something. Um, but it, 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 it's grown man, suck my dick, yeah, nigga. That's weird. But I'm gonna tell the homie busy, nigga. Don't throw. You supposed to rush him. Don't throw no water bottle. Right. Don't, don't throw it. Do it. He took his mouthpiece out like you didn't throw it at him. You can take your mouthpiece out. I want to see if you take. Suck my dick. You got that little mouthpiece about suck my dick. You got that nah, idea for I want to see you know, DJ Paul hit somebody with that little nub. Uh, <laughs> I seen that little nub. Knock somebody out with that motherfucker. Nah. Put some lemon and pepper in your butt. Lemon pepper in your butt. Hey, now, I'm some Yo, but yeah. And that was a bad matchup <laughs> anyway. Lemon pepper! <laughs> but let me ask you. <laughs> Yo, so but DJ sh- Paul would put some lemon pepper <laughs> on his chicken wing and blood. <laughs> <laughs> So yo, <laughs> DJ Show, you do you do music review, bro. Who would you think, man? What two rivals? I think uh, uh, Drake and Kanye would do something crazy. You know what I mean? Show gonna say Lil RuPaul, Lil Nas all the time. Like, what if we heard a, a Michael Jack? <laughs> What if we heard of Michael Jackson and Prince? What if we heard something like that? I don't know if they had beef, but I'm just saying, what two what two rivals would y'all think would make some fire? Um, we understood the question for all time. My shit good. My shit pretty good, so let me try it again. My shit's all right. Maybe they didn't hear my shit. My shit's decent. Hold on. There's some good shit with it. It's fire. It's fire. Would it actually be okay if they did it again? My shit's good. No, my shit's decent, okay? But when they come back, it's going to be good like it was the first <laughs> hey. no, my shit's wonderful, I'm telling you. It's great. It's ma- marvelous. Hey, 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 hey. What the fuck hey. is that? Hey. No, if everybody sat down with you, I'm shit for you. No, my shit's excellent. Right. He grabbed the mic again for that. Hey, so. Oh, shit. Hey. I was killing in the living room. Hey. 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 Hey, uh, I don't like the way I hate the brown man. I will see you again. Think? Now, if you, <laughs> if you had to choose. <laughs> if they leave, nobody's there, right? Y'all nobody's there. Y'all ain't reverend. My shit's good. Right. My shit's excellent. Y'all ain't reverend. If everybody go, everybody's <laughs> gone, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very sure. Can they be dead or alive? It don't matter. All time. Dead or alive? <laughs> you said? Uh, Biggie, 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 Biggie Pop. Pop. Yeah, hey, but same thing. Hold on, hey, but hold on, back to that bone shit. Let's get off. Let's get off. Nobody talk. Nobody gonna talk about the bag of cocaine Lazy had on stage. (laughs) It was all the stage. Country Black gave it to somebody. Caught, yeah. Country Black gave that nigga a bag of something. Man, he holding the bag. It was weed though. Man, it was like coke. Clear as day. (laughs) Little bag of white powder. Clear as day. But Lazy, you know, Steve, you know, we was in a rehab together. Me and Steve. I, I'm not mad at him for, for for having a cocaine or using a cocaine. Right. I'm <laughs> mad. I'm mad that y'all ain't cool enough or clever enough to have a little gadget or something. Y'all yeah, ain't got a little yeah. shooter. A little. Yeah, yeah. What you go? Yeah, the, it was a bag. What yeah, you gonna well, do? Man, you know, lazy bone. Lazy. They broke. They, they broke. Steve. They broke. Uh, 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 Lobel. The, the white boy broke him out of rehab. Steve yeah. Lobel. Listen, uh, he was in rehab with me. It was me. You keep all your dope in the piggy bank. <laughs> 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 
It's the most valuable thing I got. It's, just, it's all everything. So lazy. Uh, my lazy. life savings is a courthouse of dope. Lazy got everything 32 kids. Work. Fuck you. <laughs> lazy got 32 kids. And they're, they're damn near. You know, so and when they, they broke out, listen. Wait, did, you, did you disagree? No, damn near. <laughs> which one was y'all working with? Uh, crazy Bone. Okay. Yeah, crazy. But this is, I'm not, yeah. I, I can go in. I can get go in. But listen, Steve, my nigga, that Lazy Ball, Lazy, lazy ball. is the glue to them niggas. Lazy, yeah. Lazy. Yeah. lazy. That's he's the glue, bro. My nigga, Flash. You gotta stand. Flash put it all together. Flash got the first deal at Def Jam. He was a solo artist. He so brought he's them the niggas. Ooh, he's flesh. the flesh, flesh that went to jail for shooting in the valley just up in yeah, the air. I don't know what he was like, doing. Uh, the kids are shooting pigeons, nigga. If you shoot somebody, no, just don't shoot birds. Who was Tasha? Flesh. Tasha. She know who she was on that. The whole thing is they said those. But what I'm saying is, when you say that, quiet, 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 quiet. So what I'm saying with the verses. <laughs> you know, Bush ain't nothing but chewed up grass. It comes out yeah, the back man. of a cow's ass. Yeah, it comes out the back of a cow. <laughs> but listen, man, chew, chew, chew. Get it get it No, no. So he's saying the verses, yeah, they bought the coke. But you have to understand something. Them niggas are megalomaniacs. Them the little homies from Cleveland, right? They came out looking for easy. The little homies from Eda put them on. You know what I'm saying? Put them on. They was... Dope as a motherfucker. Just they were before their time. See, you understand? Bones before their time. Any harmonizing group that can spit like they spit before their time. Mm -hmm. The Midwest at that time spit it. They, they, you know, they did fast like uh, Twister right, and right, everybody. Right. But them the homies. Uh -huh. Them the homies, bro. <laughs> the dopest nigga, the dopest nigga in the group, the hardest nigga. In, in I'm waiting on your last. Busy Bone is the hardest nigga. Second is lazy. Crash land is my Busy Bone. Then third is crazy. Flash probably hung on. But Busy the hardest one out of the group. Yeah, crazy. That's the homie, man. Busy nuts. Crazy the hardest. You have to, you have to understand. He was kidnapped as a baby. Oh, and with his sister was kidnapped. Oh, he telling the truth. I know. What you say? Oh, yeah. I say I think uh, overall uh, the verses was a bad matchup. I think that shit uh, like like as far as like Juicy J and that whole camp, I feel like Juicy could have killed that whole camp by itself. Like you gotta understand. Like, First of all, don't ever call no nigga Juicy with conviction. Like that. <laughs> you know, you know you got nigga Juicy, juicy can get nigga, my nigga, nigga, got nigga, got, nigga, got, nigga <laughs> Juicy. Oh, my nigga got Juicy sweats. Like you know, like I look at it like you know they was more relevant. Uh, you know. I'm saying three six mafia is more relevant. Like they got things that's music that's been hitting like almost every other year. You know what I mean? Right. Niggas was the de uh, depending on when, like music that that happened when NWA was out. Like when Easy was right. bringing them up. Like that. Right. I mean, it was good for the time. So yeah. you said, so you, uh, so you, so you, you said, you said no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. He said, said relevant. Yeah. Yeah. You Man. said three six mafia is relevant. More relevant. Yes. yes. No, that's they're relevant. No. Like they're in Tennessee. Song. No. <laughs> Dog, rest in peace. Bone is the best. Man, this is Not in the battle they wasn't. Not in the battle. Not in that battle they weren't. Yo, y'all crazy? Did that, see, that shit look like Sunday service. Did y'all see Busy Bone out there spitting? No, 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 no. You're right. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. One more time. You're right. Y'all right. So this nigga, Juicy J, out there looking like the. Whatever he was like, the Riddler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck that was. I, I ain't know it was Dude, that too, weak ass punch. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna speak on that weak ass punch he threw. Yeah. So y'all don't. I told the homie, don't you ever swing. <laughs> so y'all don't, 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 don't think that. Y'all don't think that. Y'all don't think that Bone won that? No. no. Fuck what? Bro. Did y'all not see Hell Busy no. Bone spitting over no track? Just just him yeah, spitting. He was he was doing that. Doing real far. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah, rapping wise. But it was a whole thing. Jada Kiss. Three Six Mafia got a lot of songs. Did you see Terrence? Howard come out and rap. That's why they did. He's not a Grammy. That's why they won a Grammy. Yeah, that was terrible. He landed. He landed. But just saying. Oh, boy, he's so bad. He's so bad. We don't believe you gonna land, man. <laughs> you sat here and kept I flying did. around the airport <laughs> ten minutes ago. The <laughs> nigga to the land. Like, you know they got it. You know they got a Burbank. They got a Burbank airport. They got a Burbank airport. <laughs> they got a Burbank airport. <laughs> My license revoked. Land, motherfucker. <laughs> when, 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 when they brought out Weezy, that's what's okay. Yeah, yeah, they, they just. Um, Remember, this is a battle. This ain't a, it, just one person. No, no, no. This is a, a show. Right. So I was more entertained. Every time three six had this shit. Rapping wise, that's what we're here, we're here for. Entertainment. We're here for entertainment, right? No, so entertainment wise, they lost that motherfucker. No, on some Jada kid shit though, they you there for the rapping? Rapping wise, yes. it wasn't even close. No, 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 Bone no, killed no. the motherfucker. Jada was more entertaining than everybody else. 
So that's what I'm saying. No, like he, he was. Yes, no. He, Jada was more Why entertaining than Busy Bone. Jada's not more entertaining than Busy Bone. Right. No, no, no. I'm talking about in that battle. Busy Bone and eat his own feces In that battle. In that battle. We're talking about Brad. We're talking about the battle, right? So in that battle, he was more entertaining than anybody there. Busy wasn't more entertaining. He was more entertaining that particular time. Yeah. But not throughout the whole thing. He had a moment. He had a moment, yeah. but three six had the every every time was oh shit this crowd control, oh bro. shit oh, I just kept like oh yeah okay notorious thugs lied yes I, mean, I, I get you yeah. yes I get you I get you but where's big like you know what I mean when they put on Wayne I was like oh yeah that's that's different that's like the features is crazy this nigga said Biggie was dead. Wow, man. Yeah, he was there at the Like, he ain't dead no more. He's Oh, oh. Do it dead. I already died. He said he was dead at that battle. The only thing I could think he was dead. He said he was dead at that battle. But it'll be Zach. In Austin, Texas. Leave it there. Like a fucking gas company, okay? The only thing I think would have helped him was a hologram, bro. That 3-6, that 3-6 Mafia shit, that's like, that's some like new nigga here. Like, that shit wasn't popping. Nah, I'm going to tell you. That exactly. shit wasn't popping back then. We wasn't listening yeah. to that shit. Yeah, that's we wasn't listening to that shit. That's what I'm going to say. No, no, he's not here. No, let me get it off. Let me land. Let me get it off. Let me land. Let me get it off. I'm around the airport. I'm trying to get my... That's what happens when you take the dog off the tree. Look at these motherfuckers in the face. Look at these motherfuckers in the face. They took the job in the face. Tie the dog back up, man. Go ahead, get it off, Dunk. How you, how you gonna land, Dunk? I'm saying. <laughs> 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 My shit, I'm saying. I'll be going fast, come on, Paul. Oh, 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 oh
Hey, so, so Bruce Leroy. You know? So, so uh, <laughs> in, in, in true comedy <laughs> fashion, <laughs> they blocking it now. So that now that people are not allowed to show their wealth or uh, be uh, flamboyant even on the internet. Wow. So, so they outlawed flossing. They outlaw flossing. Right. I don't <laughs> know the fuck. So come to this country. You can't tell a wow. nigga. You can't tell a motherfucker how much you got. Yeah. And talk about balling out on songs or publicly or none of that. In right. China, right. if you're a balling ass bottle bottle popping nigga, they taking you to the pen. Clap up for China, China. Oh, China. motherfucker. And they the take pen. points from you. Oh, don't go like that shit. Yeah. And they take. Yeah. Listen, don't stop by top popping bottles. Don't get no business. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this is a very progressive law. You don't, why, why don't you think they should outlaw uh, flossing? Why are you guys in disagreement with China saying it's not okay? To I'm just, I'm just them stopping niggas from doing anything they want to do. I think is they, they, they do a lot of shit to where they, they are censoring a lot of people, far as even with the truth. So if you, can, you can censor a nigga from flossing. You can censor a nigga from telling the truth. What, also. what next? You know what I'm saying? So we, right. we gotta, we gotta. They gonna have to like stand up for something to fall off anything out there, man. For real. Well, I mean, like, you know, China got the um, point system too. If you really oh, want to know, yeah, the social system. Like, if you do anything, you, they take points from you, yeah. and mm -hmm. then it, you know your credit and all that stuff. Wow! So mm -hmm. it, it, it's not only socialism; it's <laughs> politics at its highest level. You mean communism? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Well, it has elements of socialism, <laughs> but, but it has but elements it, of. But the thing about it is. It, it, it's one world order, and I think America's taking a bite out of their thing. All you gotta do is go watch uh, the movie. No crime Dem in China, really, bro. Right, yeah. right. They all if, that, if that shit came to, uh, to, to the United no, States, see, like niggas China. would be fucked up. Right. Huh? They take the flossing out of the game. Yeah. Bro. Some of you niggas' weenies would so, be dry. So, shout yeah, out some niggas wouldn't get no. Yeah. Shout out to America. Shout out to America, y'all. Hold on. Because I've been getting since I was. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> we, Boop. Yeah, we get pushed for we get water. We get water. Uh, Boop. You know, you said, that, you said, you said booty. We get pushed for we get booty. Water. What's more important than water? Talk about some pussy. We get pushed for we get water. Okay, for sure. For we get water. DJ Show. What up? I feel like you're a good. You're a good dude. What do you think? Do you agree with this taking away flossing? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? If it's good, why? If it's not, you agree with this taking away flossing? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? If it's good, why? If it's not, why? Um, depends because, uh, well, no, I think it is a good thing for the simple fact is that's how niggas get killed, you know what I mean? Uh, uh -huh. yeah, that's how niggas get killed. Yeah, flossing. Yeah. Hey. Right. Niggas been following niggas home. Nigga, the last fucking two months is niggas following niggas home from the club and robbing them. And that's just been making the news. Man, I think the last yeah. two months, though. No, but what I'm saying is it's making the news it's now. Like it's that's that, that type of shit that used to make the news. Right. That was some local yeah. motherfucking walkie-talkie shit. Right. So that, if it's making the news, that means it's a lot of it happening. A lot. It was a nigga, on, on, it was a nigga on Instagram like at the Slauson like two years ago. Uh, nigga, while he was uh, leaving the parking lot, a nigga hopped out on him, took his money and his chain. And like food. And when a nigga, and then when a nigga, when a nigga got home, it was another nigga 
pulled a gun out on him was like, bro, you late. They already robbed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like a nigga yeah. gonna rob you from that uh, the sports jacket. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, niggas robbing niggas for them, t- that, them that's jackets. That, that's that grandma chain DJ Pooh had. You got a fat bomb jacket. Don't take that jacket from you. It's too small. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know, man. I, I, I think, I don't know. I, I might be with you. I mean, it's dumb to, to I, I'm not the one to sit there flexing on, on Instagram and shit like yeah, that anyway. But, I think that's just stupid. But, but to do it, like, to have the freedom to do it is right, better than not being able to do it at all. Like, it it should don't be, make sense. It like, should how you going to control that? It should be illegal to tell somebody how much money you make. What's the purpose of telling somebody else how much money you make? There is there is no reason I should know how much you make or you make. A nigga tell me more, nigga. We know you don't have nothing, but you <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. Know. I don't I don't know. know what a nigga make. Why you think you're the shit because you flexing your gym? Why would I want to know what a nigga make? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga coming out with his own, not Bitcoin, but Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> coming out with his Bitcoin. Yeah, nigga, that nigga flexing his GR. That nigga had an R. Kelly PPP loan. I'm saying you only tell somebody what you have <laughs> to flex on them. To flex, you yeah. tell them what you have because you don't think they have it. Right, yeah. right. You if I had to put a percentage on, I would say sixty percent of people who tell people what they make, they only tell the people that they know don't make what they make. Oh, you go yeah. higher than they're that. They're not. Man. What Blaze always say, I'm standing a little taller than you. They're not going. They're not going to tell somebody that's standing taller. How much money they make, mm-hmm. right? Because right. there's nothing to gain from that. Right. right. I think you can up that to so eighty five percent, bro. Definitely. What if a nigga's telling you that? You know what I'm trying to get you on though. Like, look, I make this much, nigga. I do this. This is how, this is how I'm getting. Being right, it should be right. That's, 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 that's the fifteen percent. But, 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 but that's how that's how you get you too. Yeah. Let Blaze get it off. That's that's how you get you too. Little no 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 no. I'm standing on your neck right now, okay? So what you want to do is come on over here, man. Because no no no. I'm talking about niggas putting you up on a money. Um, this is why I be getting mm-hmm. this bread. And yeah. this because sometimes you can't. You can tell me all you want to tell me. You right. get money. Right. I gotta see that shit. Right. But, but, man. but think same. about it though. That would make okay. hustling better, because now I can't entice you with bullshit numbers. It's illegal. Now if I come to hustle with you on some street uh, shit, this gotta really be what I'm about. I gotta really wanna do this. I'm not just over here for the numbers. Mm. Cause I remember 15 years ago, it was niggas with tattoos on their face and 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 straight gangsters dropping checks at Washington Mutual. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And they wouldn't have been on the hustle if you wasn't getting 3,200 a pop for dropping that motherfucker back in the day. Right. So what I'm saying is the numbers or with brainwash people into thinking, or brainwash people into doing shit that they really don't want to do. That's right. a part of it. That's a part of it. You know it. what I'm saying? Yeah. If you if you went out as a robber, robbing niggas every every night, and you if you never knew that you can get money from robbing people, nobody would get robbed. The only reason niggas rob niggas is because they know right. there's some numbers on the other end of that. Right. That's just bigger numbers. Niggas gonna take. I'm just saying, as far as like, a niggas giving you numbers, as far as like. Just even with a nigga business, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to do a business with me because look, I do this. Right. Look, look, this is that's what I'm saying. For nigga just showing you money to like nigga, look, this is what. Right. You know what I mean? That that's it because that could cause something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nigga might get like that's what you got. Well, I'm gonna need that because I don't think you can protect me from taking that. You right. know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you can't do nothing about it. Right. You should only be able to tell people when you need money. But why? That's a more humble, nigga. That, that's a more humble space. Yeah. I think it's better for all of us. If because now we we it would, it would make people want to help, but mm-hmm. the reason people don't want to help people now who have money is because you know what I'm saying. I gotta really think about that. Why people don't want to have people? Why people don't, people don't want to help people who don't have money now? Because Personally, of, because I don't think you know choice. what to do with it. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I don't trust what you're going to do with this money if I give it to you. Why would a nigga tell me anything about money? Why would he come to me and say he got something for me? I, my red lights is on. Why me, nigga? It's, it's, the, it's the carrot in front of the horse. A nigga agrees you with a play like he got something. Nigga, my eyes is open. Why is you telling me, nigga? Why you want me to win? 
That's what I'm saying. Some, Why some me? No, no, hold on. Who? It's to carry it with the horse. And niggas, it's just like back in the day when your mama, your auntie, it was a nigga talking about he had to slip and fall. He got a settlement coming. That old greasy Skitty uncle you green. had. Yeah, so when a nigga come, ah, right, nigga, that's one G, one man game, man. Right, why you gonna tell me something, nigga? Like you said, put it in paper. Right, let's make it official like a referee whistle. Cause ain't no nigga that 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 that, that uh, fifty seven fake that grease nigga come grease. It's called the cat cookie and the crow. It also yes. too the numbers thing, right? <laughs> niggas aren't right. niggas aren't oh, jacking yeah. niggas. I mean, there are some a small percentage, man. But niggas generally don't jack niggas that need money. They mm -hmm. jack niggas who like have it. money. No, so if it's illegal for me to tell you what I have, Tommy. it brings down crime. So yeah, exactly. it does no bring crime. Down crime. So motherfuckers don't steal from motherfuckers in the hood. I'm not saying everybody. Absolutely. I'm not yeah. saying yeah. that happens but every day. But you go right next to a nigga's radio and go right back in the house. I know that niggas ain't <laughs> following niggas to the crib. <laughs> Uh -oh. That they think don't have money, right. they follow yeah, niggas in the crib true. and that's, they think have bread. Right. This is what I'm saying. This is a contradictory part. Like, like you live in the hood with the nigga next door who you know don't have money, but you break into his house. That's right. thieving. But, but that's, he he that's, got what you got. Thieving. Yeah, but that happens that's, that's less often. The same often. thing is following into home and taking the shit. Still thieving. Nah, yeah. It's thieving, but it doesn't. No. But what I'm saying is that when somebody is jacking you because they have, they think you have money. Which basically means something you did triggered that thought, right. right? If it's a different space, it's more evil to steal from a motherfucker who you know doesn't have it than it is to steal from somebody you know does have it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. It's an evil or deed because if somebody doesn't have it, this is life and death now. You're saying that basically, nigga... I'm gonna take your last, nigga, and right, it ain't yeah. shit you could do about it. Like basically, like nigga, die. Right. Yeah. But if you steal from somebody you know has it, and that knowledge comes from that person, that's more from like a jealous place. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like that's a that that's that's the energy that has everything fucked up because niggas are able to switch jealousy and say it's not jealousy. It's, they can they can say jealousy is uh, uh, I caught you slipping. Yeah. Or, or or you a bitch ass nigga Like a lot of niggas They gonna say they jealous They gonna look at you right. And find reasons to call you a bitch Man, Would it yeah. be jealous Or could it just be a, Well shit You got it I don't and I don't think and, and, and My resources jealousy. is low So I'm gonna go get it from you The same way while yeah, While you, you run like into The nigga's house yeah. next door But let's keep it 100 All jacking ain't bad I don't know no. Some jacking is necessary for the culture and the ecosystem. Yeah, that's my point. Because there are disrespectful niggas me, who have it. If you, a, if you a nigga that has it and you a disrespectful nigga, no. you deserve to get jacked. Go ahead. Okay. No, I'm just saying, like, a lot of the times you see niggas that's flossing and is out there, a lot of the niggas don't have it like that. Most of the niggas that have it, have it. That's like a nigga you would want to hit a lick off. Like, I could come up off this nigga. They, you're not going to see them niggas out there, you know what I'm saying, with diamonds, big chains on it, you know what I'm saying, big, big gaudy, you know what I'm saying, because... Bust down Rolex. <laughs> they don't do that shit anyway. They, they know putting diamonds on a Rolex lowers the value. You know what right. I'm saying? You cannot, when you sell that motherfucker, they don't give you about $1,000 for it. Like, right. oh, that's a $2,000 watch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I paid all this for this. Nah, nah, that you brought the value down. Mm -hmm. So they know this. Niggas with money know this. So you're not going to see him fucking it up over like that. Right. Only if he want to go out and he, he around other niggas. He's like, look, we had, a, we, had a, we had a spot where other niggas with bread. I just want to show niggas I got money too. Other than that, there's no reason for you to be out there around wolves, nigga. Right. Leaking with, with a leak, I'm saying a, a handful of meat, nigga. Like I got oh. all this, I got all this food, oh. nigga. Y'all finna oh, take all this shit. Right. Y'all finna, yeah. Y'all, y'all, what you gonna do? You have the money, <laughs> exactly. And, yeah. and flossing around, nigga. Cause look, most gangster killer niggas, whatever you want to call it, jacker niggas are very respectful. That's a fact. Yeah. Because they're aware of what's in the environment. They know this nigga could be like me. Yeah. So they move a little bit slower until they smell like, oh, this nigga's a bat. Yes, and then they go in for the kill. Mm -hmm. um, damn, what the fuck was I saying? How would you explain no one ever robbing Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or Mark Zuckerberg? Ever? No, they've, they've, no, they've definitely been robbed. They, they have. They 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 was a kid. You can't be, you can't be big like, like that. that. When they got drunk, this is the source of words. Uh, not the first one, but the second one. When we was robbing everybody, we was with Fat Joe, and Fat Joe said, "We're with the robbers." That was us. I'll get you with a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Ask Fat Joe. We're with the robbers. 
<laughs> that was us. The other nigga, the other nigga was Magic, no, nigga. Eight yeah, seven Magic, nigga. We was in, we was hey, hit man. niggas together. That's when they got Chris Webber, nigga, <laughs> over at the Fatberg. Yeah, <laughs> Fat Joe said we are with the robbers. <laughs> that was us. <laughs> okay, you, know, <laughs> you fucked so he up. You with right. the phone? Get you, <laughs> you, you fucked up for about thirty seconds. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're talking about robbers. We ain't gonna be able to get it back. So. Really. <laughs> 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 I got you know, I was you know what they had low when he admit to that shit though. He's like, yeah. you, you know them niggas that everybody stepped on to spit on on the way to the club. That was that was me. I'm a trifler. I ain't about to do this. Yeah. <laughs> what else you got for us, Blake? <laughs> uh, yeah. So so y'all ain't really liking nobody <laughs> taking away your balling status and shit. So the next question, how about this? Would you prefer an 800 FICA score? Or a hundred thousand in cash. Eight hundred five goes. Eight hundred five goes. I can't think of anything. Give me the hundred thousand. Goofy nigga, goofy nigga, take the cash. Give me the lick. I'm the goofy. That goofy nigga. I'll be the goofy nigga. Give me the lick. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Give me the lick. I'll raise, but you didn't take. Yeah, you know, you ain't too stupid at all. Look how fast you get that money. Exactly. Where's my credit score? Where's my credit score right now? I got to get a loan. How you gonna? So how you gonna raise your credit score with the hundred grand? Nigga, pay off your bills. bills. I just gonna say that shit. No, pay off your bills. That's how you raise your credit. Nah, nah, nah. That's how my shit got raised. Nah, 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 nah. And using it and using and utilizing my credit, man. Okay, usage is one thing. Debt to income ratio is another. another. Yeah. Also, the age of the trade line means a lot. So just because you got a, a, a on time credit card for a year. That's not gonna really. That's gonna get your score up, but underwriters gonna look at that like, nah, this motherfucker been paying on time on this card over here for twenty right. years. Yeah. You've so, so, so fifteen years. years. So there's a such thing as soft numbers and hard numbers. So it's niggas who got seven eighty, eight hundred soft. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that so what you've been paying cable for six months or six years. That don't mean shit to a motherfucker who been paying off mortgages and and, and over seventy percent of their shit paid and. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I go to Alvarado and get me a salsa with uh, yeah. Manny and then build that motherfucker up. Who is it? Manny. <laughs> Manny Mother, nigga. Give me a hundred, nigga. I can fix that real quick and so, take this so, and break that in and put this up under a bitch and so, make her get it and then put this over here. I get you know with the 800 and uh, if I go, go ahead, first, I, can, I can go get a $100,000 loan easy. Yeah. It depends on what's on the score. It depends what on what's on the credit. I'm talking about with an 800 and a credit yeah. No one's going to no I mean, turn you down. Yeah. I'm going to go get 100 and 100 It's just credit cards that turn you down. Well, every bank you get. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, yeah. Personal loan. Like it, it, depends on, it depends on the loan amounts that you have on your shit. Yeah. It depends on what type of debt it is. Is it revolving debt? Is it car credit? Like, what kind of credit do you have? There's more than one type of credit. So a lot, a lot of people don't understand it. That's kind of, I remember when I was at the dealership, motherfucker come in with a 750, but they have no car credit yeah. so you even though you have a good score you still gonna pay a higher interest rate because the banks haven't seen a long-term investment from you they still gonna loan you money at a clip where you a loser because you have no proven car credit That's same right. works with with a mortgage you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's more to credit than just a score you niggas need to do, start doing their research right. uh, real spec go ahead blaze no no so we just made it clear that the two niggas who took the cash should be broken three months <laughs> We looked at the uh, nigga so that asked that. the question. Was that the Merc Park with the Hebrew line? <laughs> <laughs> the white man is the devil. We gonna kill the white man. You read this verse, verse seventeen. I saw him. You read it. Huh? And they look like bring me the warriors. You get your gravity rift built in. He was at the Merc Park, nigga, with the Hebrew line. We killed the whitey. Uh, uh, All right. So, so verse seventeen. So, so the young fellas hey, you watching, y'all pay that. attention. Huh? We like as, you, man. As niggas, I think, look at niggas, niggas like Kanye West and boy. shit. Like, Kanye West don't own no house. He, he sold his houses, all that shit. He got property, but it's not like so he, he doesn't own a house he lives in. You know what I'm saying? Anything he got, he rents out. And he just, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, wherever you go, he got apartments. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what he do. Because that's how these billionaires are staying rich. They can tax all that shit. And once they tax all your assets, nigga, you're paying out the... Now these niggas, they don't, they not paying shit. Like you can't tax what I don't have. Nigga. Get your rich man IRA. So, so stop looking for the cash, and you lazy motherfuckers do the work. Take the time and, and understand credit show. Uh, how it works? <laughs> no, you don't, motherfucker. You just said you. Just because your glass, the hundred glasses give you the details, my nigga. You, know, you got to finish. That nigga got some experience. 
He's a trans union specs, man. You understand? He don't even know what that is. He just laughing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> them glasses, <laughs> them glasses <laughs> came with a beach cruiser. Hey, them glasses came with a beach cruiser. These glasses came to me uh, at, at zero. Venus Mars. At zero percent interest rate, man. With <laughs> credit I got, motherfucker. And they got a little boom credit. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh, damn lie. That nigga old blockbuster. <laughs> 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 That's what I And hey, that nigga, that nigga, you should, nigga, shut up. You nigga, can work at two for one pizza. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, 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 your credit score is 23. Two, nigga. For, two for one pizza. Remember that nigga? One second. Go. Time for one of the best segments on the show. Those is. Jet Beauty of the Week. Oh, let's see, dude. Check, 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 check. Hey! hey. hey. Bring the man on. That nigga's stupid. All right. <laughs> <laughs> got my, um, my girl Jace coming on there today, man. Uh, Jace from Atlanta. She's an artist. Uh, beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Great spirit. You know, good peoples, man. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, oh my God. Hey. Like Sammy uh, David Jr. I don't God. know oh. yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she boing, boing, man. Boing, boing, man. I don't know, oh, man. That's too much special effects, man. I got uh, your glasses yeah. is special effects all you want. You get a special effects all you want. That motherfucker cold. Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. Don't do that. What you doing with her like that? What she look like at six in the morning? Look at this again. I'm gonna get them toes. Toes and toes look not. You know what them toes look like? That you know what that? Man, wait a minute. I like black booty ends. Is booty ends black? Black ass booty ends. That's right. Oh yeah. You don't, you don't like that, huh? Uh, I don't know. Ahead, I like that body. Ahead, that body <laughs> oh, cold. Look like two midgets in a sleeping bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That nigga glasses glitching. I see some I'm not a fan of special that's effects, effects and shit, man. Let's yeah. go ball. I know it, man. Let's go ball. I ain't gonna care if I'm gonna get this, man. Trust me, guys. Dick Kim, baby. Trust me. I was looking at your best go ball. She's flying, though. It was fine. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> stupid. Yeah. 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 That's hilarious. That's all random. Uh -huh. You got one? Oh, yeah, my yeah. bad. Yeah, we, we good. All right, man. We're going to have to get out of here. That nigga over there looking like a guy from Crooklyn, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't got a, a gun on him when you shoot it, a boxing glove come out. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! <laughs> I don't look like you for the say you pouring out all our wine. Something for the brothers in here, Coaches, y'all. My mama was watching that shit. I forgot you went to the mall. Tell them where they can find me. You went to the drive-in to watch Ninja Turtles. I did. I did. I was doing the turtle dance with the Ninja Turtle dance. All right, Pin Rogersberger on IG, Snaptastic underscore Pin. Get your I write gear. Uh, you think you write all the time? Well, I write more. <laughs> Uncle Ty Comedy, IG, Twitter, you know what I'm saying, Facebook. You know what I'm saying, get the album. I'm out there. Left me in Pasadena. Blame the bartender. And, yeah, I will be out there. Uh, Austin, Texas is going down, man. I'm out there. You got that much gas in your car? <laughs> <laughs> you flying an X Wing fighter down there. I'm gonna put that nigga Todd in a wheelchair. Hell, every nigga, 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 every nigga,
<laughs> Let me just push it to the front. <laughs> that nigga bicycle kicked to the front of the crowd. Just keep calling radio, radio. Radio. Dozy finna take a gazelle out there. Don't ride gazelles, bro. You try. Hey, DJ, the show's gone, man. Yeah. The imitation crab meat. <laughs> 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 You started electric slide in Pride Month. That's the left foot. Go left. 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 Bro, that shit's scary as fuck. Cause motherfuckers just start to start down. Hey, what the fuck is y'all doing? Y'all know them niggas with each other. Yeah, that nigga said a flash, bro. Hey man, so uh, bad boy Blaze, shout out to myself, double O B L Z zero zero B L Z Instagram. Show look like a, a man made man. <laughs> <laughs> like a nigga built him in his back room. Like, 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 a nigga was in his room and scoped the whole nervous system. <laughs> <laughs> You know how complex your nervous system is? This nigga got a Honda heart. I mean, he's really a good friend. He's a man-made man. I created him. I made him from scratch. This is my friend that I made from scratch. I saved him all my money and made a friend called Show. I got the back meat from Alvarez's. I got the side meat from the man-made man. From Vaughn. I got the feet meat from Pavilion. I got a man made man friend. They call him Shell. You got that Melvin Big Boy step that he had on man. He got the t-shirt from the homeless shelter. I made his knees out of turtle shells. He got turtle shell knees. He got, he got spam hamstrings. This is a man made man. Spam hamstrings. Spam Spam strings. Of course, his mouth is made out of dead pork. Dead pork mouth. This is man made man. See, pig anus in his mouth. Penis. Pig anus. The penis mouth. Pig anus. Penis. Pig anus, nigga. Man made man. Man made man. Man made man. That's funny. Sell fake jewelry out of your jacket. Why is nigga dressed like a gypsy? Man made man is fucking crazy. I fucked up though when I was making him. I put the ass where the mouth was supposed to be at. That's the only thing wrong with him. The only thing he farts out of his mouth. That's the only thing wrong with the man made man. We got an ass box is where his voice box supposed to be. There's an ass box where my mouth is supposed to be. I'm so cold, I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> box where my mouth used to be. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bold. I'm so bold. I'm, so I'm a man made man. <laughs> Man-made man. You tell niggas you got like it on my mind. That's fucking great. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh my god. Man made man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, straight, nigga. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all that's all you do. Booker Paul Man is is really comedian Booker Paul, my new Instagram, eleven ninety nine, Boo TV on uh, on YouTube, Facebook is Boo Hef. But y'all, man, come fuck tell with them me, man. Tell them about the album you got coming out. Oh, man, coming sorry. out the trash can too. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we want. Leave, leave it on my boxes behind. Yeah, he got naked pictures of Bill oh, Winters. That Bill oh, Winters, man. he got naked pictures of Bill Winters. I'm, I'm but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, buzzing and Cali, man. They just played it on every time. Me and Booker Paul, you know me, Westside Connect guy. Killing shit, bing, bing, bang. Hey, and I love these guys. Support this show, man. These funniest dudes. I fuck with them because they real guys, man. And uh, we build and we talk shit. And you should see the shit we do off camera. But uh, oh, shout oh, out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I really start showing up. <laughs> No need to land in, I just... It's trying to make a head so I disappear. Where y'all head at? I'm talking about how we bag outside. Yeah, say that. Tie, say that. Say that. Say that. And jump rope with that rope. If you, love if you fart in the ocean, uh, show or swim after you. He <laughs> <laughs> would, too. It'd be a whole school of shows around you. If you fart in the ocean, it'd be a whole school of shows. Fast, not fast. Oh, okay, okay. And they're so ready to fight like a little. Hold on, my man made man didn't have an attitude when I did. Okay, who the fuck put his attitude in the man made man? They put, they put piranha features on his brain. Why are you so aggressive? I didn't do that. I put dots out. I put golden go 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 retriever attitude in my man made man. Not just piranha shit. I put, a, I put an award winning gold winning retriever attitude in my man made man. Did you use goldfish lips? What are you doing? What are you doing? That nigga got a warm top hat, nigga. Oh, shit. Hey, and like, every time he takes his hat off, he's like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah! <laughs> and then he got a hawk feather in his head. <laughs> and he used to ride a giraffe in high school. Let's see if you tried it. I know what to do. I'll watch you guys. We ain't brought Billy when y'all weren't here. Where Billy yeah. ass at? Billy talking about the, y'all, nigga, tell Billy to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me back D-Lay's DNA. Oh! oh, 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 oh Billy, go hook like, your ass, Billy. Billy. Nah, nah, nah. Stop looking at Billy, my little homie. We love Billy, nigga. <laughs> I'm, we just clowning, nigga. He don't, he don't want to take it there. That's when murder, death, kill comes you in. You tell him where you can find you, where you can find you? Yeah, I told him, man, you can get me out of here. But nah, man, nah, it's okay, man. I love y'all, man. It's all it's all entertainment, fellas. <laughs> they pay us to do this silly shit. We're Excuse the luckiest men in the world. Excuse me, sir. I don't know, man. What's <laughs> 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 Ralph is not a vengeful god. Go ahead, man. All right, man. Right I <laughs> he ain't dead. He ain't dead. He ain't dead. Hello, world. It's Auto Box. Yeah, so I know you guys want to see the bunnies and you want to see the. The fuck? This motherfucker. Uh, 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 what now?
Let's do what we're doing. We got work to do. Let's do what we're doing. Should we have this right now? No, no, no. I'll close the show. Okay, so again, hello world. It's Autobots. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys want to see the bunnies in the bush buttes. You got to see it at the live show in Austin, Texas, okay? And also, if you want to follow, I got a new Instagram called uh, Bunnies and Butch Buttes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck right them. Uh, I got another Instagram. Uh, it's uh, Bunnies and Butch Buttes. Follow that. You know, subscribe to that. Shout that out. And uh, you can find my regular Instagram. It's Autobots. And on YouTube and everywhere else, it's Autobots. You dig? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hurry up so we can go outside. Hey, man, y'all can follow me, uh, comedian G King, G King Comic on Instagram, TikTok, all that. G King Comic. G King. Yeah, man, y'all already know this. We in Austin, you know what I'm saying, nigga? Yeah. Y'all know about that, nigga. Austin Just know takes, about yeah. that. We're going to be out there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't going? I ain't going. Grown ass man. Hey, Greyhound. We got a couple Greyhounds. Yeah, I'm going to put your Greyhound. I'm going to drive they gonna put you on the plane. So if y'all in Texas, you know what I'm saying, come fuck with us, man. We out there heavy, bro. The real Duncan Penny Hughes, you know what I'm saying, on Instagram, uh, Sapiosexual, Blade Brown coming out. You know what I'm saying? I got that shit coming on December 25th on Christmas, bro. Dropping that shit for you niggas, slapping you niggas in the face with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yo. Yeah, nigga. For real, nigga. You ever been slapped in the face, nigga? Not with it. No. Oh, uh, well, don't act, don't act. But don't talk about it. Don't knock it till you try it, nigga. No. <laughs> No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, 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 Houston was fucking amazing this weekend, so I'm going right back to Texas. Right back. I just got Being back. Texas, I just got back this fucking morning. That nigga, you not. Yeah, that nigga's yeah. a coyote. Shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. So I'm uh, I'm gonna be out. We gonna be right back out there on Friday. Well, shit, we gonna be out there Thursday night and shit. We gonna turn up this weekend. Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, what up, man? This be your boy, The Real DJ Show. Look, check this out, man. Make sure y'all follow me on uh, The Real DJ Show on Instagram, uh, Plan A Radio. I'm doing a top 10 countdown, you dig? Like on some uh, top 10 music video shit. So if you got music videos and you're trying to get on the top 10, you know, type in, follow me on Plan A Radio and the top 10 artists of the week type shit. You know what I'm saying? So if you got some music, make sure y'all vote every Friday, you dig? Show. Hell yeah, hey man, Austin, Texas. Oh, she can't get George, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay, yeah. Austin, Texas will be at the Vulcan Power Company. Yeah. Gas Company. Yeah. Gas Company, the Vulcan Gas Company, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. 7 yeah. o'clock and 9.30 p.m. Friday, Saturday. Purchase your tickets. Mm -hmm. The crew will be there. Mm -hmm. Big Ja, Jahan Jones, Rito. Teddy Ray. Teddy Ray. Ken Edwin. Yeah. Barry Brewer. Barry Brewer dropped out today. Oh, uh, well, never mind. Everybody else will be there. And the crew, man. <laughs> Purchase it, man. It's going to be a great show. We're doing the podcast, and we got comics coming up during the show, man. And we also showing sketches and stuff like that, man. Be, be involved, man. Um, we love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting us. And um, if I owe you something, I'm not going to be able to give it to you. But if you want it. Get it, get it you can get it going. Get it from God. Oh. Get it from God. God, 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 God. Come to the meet and greet. Go <laughs> Gusto, Aramis. Yeah. Meet and greet. Hold on, hold on, bro. Don't just walk out that door, man. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Hold on, this nigga. This, the nigga might be.